Hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome to another episode of Board Game House. Woo. With uh, L. Dot, you better be eating something. That's all that I care about. You need to keep up your strength. I care about a lot of things. I think he's fine. Hmm. He's an adult. Hello, everyone. Clearly. Hello, bees. Hello, bees. Uh, welcome to another episode of Board Game House with three friends living in a duplex. Play some board games for all of you lovely people on the internet. Uh, our names are below us. You I don't think you. I like the word duplex. Duplex. What would you like to say? I don't know. I just don't. Duplex. I don't think that it. But it is a duplex. Yeah. Okay. It's a, a house that has two we live apartments in a, we have in a, it. a bi living complex. Nope, that's worse. Duplex. Anyways, before we begin, a few <laughs> quick announcements. Um, do you want to just start with where, where we're at as far as our follower stuff? Followers! We are at... He told me before the stream started. 112. We're at 212. Two. Yeah. And we need... That makes us need 38 more. Math is hard. It's not 38. Fun. Shh. 38 followers until we hit our next goal, our March goal. Because happy March, everyone. March um, 1st. Of. Queer Eye doesn't. 200, start until the 15th. 250 followers. I was told March we were getting new episodes, and now it's March 15th. It's still March. What a cock tease. <laughs> I would, March 1. If you're going to say something starts in March, March 1. Okay. And on YouTube. <laughs> We are. <laughs> I'm distracted now. We're only five subscribers away from 100. I know that's what I'm giggling at. Five, five subscribers away from 100, which gets us our fancy custom URL. Apparently, you look like a leprechaun. <laughs> I was ignoring it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a hat back if you want to put it on. <gasps> Please no. wait. What? Are it's we streaming hat. on the fifth? The, the... No. No. Are St. Patrick's Day? Are we turning on St. Patrick's Day? St. Patrick's Day is Sunday. Oh, it's the 17th. You can do it on the 15th. What? The hat one. No. Yes. No. Um, other things that are going on. We posted our March schedule, which includes um, all the games we're going to play this month. We're really excited about it. It has a lot of our favorite games coming up yeah. this month for all of you. What a people. great month. Um, Derek's actually looking forward to most of them. Uh, let's see. I'm sort of met on Robo Rally. Ah. Uh, really speaking of robots. Robots! Mechanica is on Kickstarter for two more days. They're at $91,683. All of the stretch goals, except for... The fancy one. The fancy pieces, the fancy robot pieces, have been funded. We have... Thirteen hundred thir thirteen thousand three hundred and seventeen dollars left until we can get those. Yes, then they they, yeah, they could very easily still do that because Kickstarter really picks up at the tail end of a campaign, especially since they got picked up as what we are recommending or whatever the oh, yeah, Kickstarter games. first pa home page where they're like, here's some cool stuff on Kickstarter. The mechanic was on there, so I think that's where a lot of this money has come from the last couple days. Uh, other things. Uh, anyone that is a sub, you now have a new emote that you can use in chat. Uh, so what I would like is if anybody new shows up, please use the welcome mat that you now have access to. Uh, to welcome them to the community, to welcome them to the neighborhood. Um, it sounds like a rule. No, it's not a rule. rules here. Ah, see, there we go. Yes, exactly. Um, to make people feel welcomed. Only use it once. No. You can put on as many welcome mats as you want. That's ridiculous. Then they start stacking up and then they start sliding all over the porch. There's no reason for that. You only need one welcome mat. <laughs> it's like a golden ticket. You're such a party people. You're so logical. You're being a party practical. Uh, but yeah, practical we have that. Uh, there is two more emotes, but they're for like tier two and uh, tier two and tier three subs, so don't really if worry about those. Uh, one is the mailbox for tier two, and then for tier three. If you want, uh, you also have the disclaimer uh, hammer. Uh, not that this channel ever needs a disclaimer. Uh, Never. <laughs> other things that are going on. 
Um, Monday we are doing our game that you picked, which Derek, what was that? You already said it. I didn't say what the game was. Ticket to Ride. Which you is said it? I could do it, and then you just went well for it. No, sorry, I set it up. Said, said yeah, it. but it's not an alley oop type thing. You asked me if I wanted to do it, and I said yes, and then you just stole it. <laughs> Derek well, is then in. Continue speaking. He said what he said. What he was going to say about it. You done? Take it to rides on Monday. One of Derek's favorite games. That's uh, from Days of Wonder. Uh, we played that as our first you official. Been saying and you chose not to. Our first official stream. Uh, so we're bringing it back. Well, our first stream that we didn't delete. Well, the first stream didn't happen because it turned into like a podcast because it was only audio, no video. But it did happen. Um, but it was bad, but it happened. <laughs> uh, but you are going to see the very first how to play we ever did. Oh. So you can see how far how far how far we have come in uh, how to plays. Uh, other things that are going on. Uh, merch is in the store if you're interested in that. Other things um, that are happening. Uh, there's something else. Oh, yeah. We are getting ready to move in the back room. Hopefully very, very soon. Um, and we, there are some more things we want to get so we can kind of upgrade our system as we're going. Um, we do have a wish list online if you're interested in that. You should tell them what we got a couple of What do we still need? Oh, you want to do that? Okay. Um, and there may be an extra stream thrown in at some point randomly uh, because we got the email today that we were accepted into Twitch Sings, which is which is like more or less Twitch karaoke. Um, so we may at some point uh, be doing some Twitch Sings for you guys. Uh, we have to download it, figure out how it works and all that jazz Should before we can do it. probably do that tonight because there aren't very many baby spots to... Well, no, we're already accepted. Well, well, we should still try and do it tonight. Okay, I will do it tonight. Uh, but yeah, so at some point you may hear us singing some random songs. We'll see. Uh, other things that are going on in our world that we can tell you guys about. Actually, we can tell you about all of them. Uh, oh, Wednesday, we played another episode of... Uh, uh, I have no idea. It's Betrayal so Legacy. Sorry, words, words are days. hard. Uh, we played another episode of Betrayal Legacy. Uh, it got a little crazy. And if you're not caught up or you want to catch up, definitely do that because we are yeah. super excited about where it's headed next. Because we have no clue. No clue. We got nothing. Yeah. We got absolutely nothing. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, it's a good one. But yeah, so that's going on. This Wednesday coming up, we have our continuation of our D&D stream. So if you're not caught up, catch up over the weekend. Uh, we are four episodes in, so this will be episode five. Um, so you can definitely uh, catch up on that. Did you order fan art? Yes, it should be coming sometime soon. Actually, it wasn't, it wasn't fan, fan art because we commissioned it. We commissioned art. Oh, well, you knew what I meant. Uh, but yeah, so that's all going on. Anything else that we're missing? No. No. All right. So no. next week. So the next week we have tickets to ride. Ticket to ride. D and D. D and D, and then Bunny Kingdom. Bunny Kingdom. Bunny Kingdom. Guys, if you've never played Bunny Kingdom, it's a good one. Go get that shit right now. And if you've never such played, a good game, and if you've never played it right, welcome to our lives. <laughs> <laughs> we had played it right, we just didn't score right. That right. changes a lot, though. Yeah, but it's not like we don't know how to play, we just don't have a score. <laughs> okay. There's a joke there. Hello, Orleo! Welcome, welcome. Um, but yeah, which leads us into tonight's game, which is... Mystic Veil! This one's my favorite and I never get to play it, ever! Because somebody doesn't particularly really care for it. Don't point at me. Don't subtly point at me. He's they just, knew it was me. He's just mad he doesn't... He's not very good at it. But this is Megan's favorite game. It's my favorite! And I'll show you why in How to Play. I'll also show you here again because... Um, it, it is... It, I like it a lot. It, it, I'm surprised that it's your favorite because of the type of game it is. Not that it's not a great game, but just because it's, you know, kind of a deck it's builder. tactile. That's the big one. It's tactile. I like the pieces. I like the cards. The card crafting is really cool. 
What else? What else do I like about it? What's a normal deck builder? A normal deck builder would be like Magic the Gathering, probably the most. Dominion. We played Dominion with the deck builder. Yeah, that work. There is no dice rolling in this one, which is probably no why Megan dice likes rolling. it. rolling. But I don't really. I'm not a big deck building fan. No. That's the thing. That's the weird thing is I'm not a big deck building fan. I think the way that you build the cards is cool. That's what I like about this game. I just think that that there isn't a lot of. <clears throat> How's that? Can you define? I don't know. Boom. I don't know. I just like. He wants more. Boom. Yeah, like what is? Where's, what what is never, this? Okay, it's like. So it's like if you're watching a movie. Uh -huh. And you never, and the the climax never happens where it just kind of, and then is over. You know what I mean? Like it builds a little, and then it plateaus, and then it's over. I feel like. Like there's no. Bah! <laughs> My oh. heart never starts going. Like I'm never like, oh man, I could win. And well, then, that's a personal problem. Well, no, like, not, not in that way. Not, but, like, it's either, like, it's like you have the thing, mm -hmm. and then you just cards, 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 put them in the sleeve, grab your victory point, and then, like, and then he looks over, and we both have twice as many victory points as him, and he feels like he's not going to win. Well, no, I, that's not what I'm talking about. Yes, that's what happens. <laughs> but what I'm talking about is, like, there's no, there's no excite. Well, I mean, I that's can't just me. force you to have excite, but I feel like in that aspect, you're not really looking at strategy in the cards and stuff then that are out. But Derek's also a component whore, and he likes he minis no and... Here. There are components. Yes. There are cool components. Cardboard. I mean, like, it's good I'm cardboard. About the cards. Oh. The cards are the best part of this game. But you'll see that in how to play. We digress. I like it because it's Megan's favorite game. Art. Yes. And the art is cool. The art is cool. That was I was going to say there's an owl on it. <laughs> and I like these clear cards. I like that they stack and you can see all the things. Well, that's what I was going to talk about when we came back, but you took it. On that note, we're going to go to the how to play because we actually have one this one for the first time in like Yay! a while. It's been a while since we've had how to play. No, it's just been like a week. Well, it's been a, it's actually been a little it's probably been, been a like bit. two weeks because we had Monday and Friday. Monday we couldn't do it. Yeah, because we can't go. The the Friday before we played Jackbox. Jackbox. Mm -hmm. That was then D and D. I mean betrayal D and D. We don't have smash up. We didn't have one because of that that's was Monday. That's Monday. What was Monday. the Monday before that? We had one the Monday. No, Mechanica. It was, it was Mechanica because we didn't have one then. We haven't had a how to play in like, like a, a week and a half. Two weeks. So here's a how to play. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Centuries ago, a dying, wicked king pleaded for help from the druids of Gaia. When they refused, the king cast a curse on the Valley of Life, spreading blight and pestilence throughout the sacred land. In response, the druid council sent druids into the valley. Blessed by Gaia herself, these druids were tasked with restoring the Valley of Life to its former glory. Welcome to Mystic Veil. Vale. Mystic Veil vale is a card crafting game for 2-4 to four players from ABG. Players will take on the role of druids trying to restore beauty and life to the dying valley of life. Will you be able to heal the decay and bring vibrance and prosperity back? Or will you attempt to heal too quickly and end up with a spoiled land? Let's find out in Mystic Vale. To start, each player will select a deck of 20 sleeved cards in the color of their choice. Shuffle them and place it face down in front of them. Now set up the comments. Take the level 1 advancement deck, indicated with a singular white dot under the cost in the upper right hand corner. Shuffle them and remove the number of cards as indicated. In a 2 player game, remove 12 random cards. In a 3 player game, remove 15 random cards. And in a 4 player game, remove 18 random cards. Place the deck face down and reveal 3 cards. Shuffle the level 2 advancement deck, indicated with the 2 white dots under the cost. Place it face down above the level 1 deck and reveal 3 random cards. Do the same for the level 3 advancement deck, indicated with 3 white dots under the cost. Separate the veil cards into level 1 and level 2 decks. Shuffle the level 1 deck 
place it face down near the commons and reveal the top four cards. Do the same with the level two deck. Set the extra fertile soils in reach of all players. Place the indicated number of victory tokens in a pool. In a two player game, there will be 20 blue tokens. In a three player game, there will be 28 tokens. And in a four player game, there will be 33 tokens. Determine the starting player by shuffling the number of mana tokens equal to the number of players. Making sure that the token with the starting symbol is included. And deal one to each player with the active side up. Players return the tokens over to the spent side and the player with the starting symbol goes first. Now you are ready to play. Players will start the game by creating their starting fields. Your field will have four locations, your deck, your field, your discard pile, and your on-deck card. Reveal the top card of your deck and place it face up on top. This is your on-deck card. Then place your on-deck card into your field and turn over a new card. Do this until you have two cursed lands in your field and one on deck. turn consists of four phases, planting, harvest, discard, and prep. During the planting phase, you must choose to either pass or push. If you choose to pass, skip directly to the harvest phase. If you decide to push, place your on-deck card into your field. Resolve any of the win played abilities on the card, then flip over the next card. If you reveal another decay symbol, you have spoiled. Your field will spoil when you have four decay symbols revealed. However, there are many advancement cards with growth symbols that will cancel a decay symbol out. If you spoil, you will move straight to your discard phase and flip your mana token to the active side. If you do not spoil, you can continue pushing or move on to the harvest phase. The harvest phase is where you count up your mana, spirit symbols, resolve harvest abilities in your field, score victory tokens, buy veil cards, and buy advancements. These can be done in any order. Let's take a closer look at the cards. Advancement cards will always have the title, the cost in the top right corner, and the level pips below it. Some cards will have abilities. These will either be listed at the bottom of the picture or down the side of the card. If they are listed at the bottom, they will always be visible, so they will always be active. If it is down the side of it, whichever ability is on top is the active ability. Victory points can be located in two different locations. Either in the top left corner, these will be collected during the harvest phase, or the bottom right corner. These are collected at the end of the game. There are four different types of symbols that can be present on a card. Mana symbols will be located on the left side of the card. Spirit symbols will be located at the left side of the card. Decay symbols will also be located at the left side of the card. Finally, guardian symbols will be located in the bottom left corner of the picture. Veil cards will have the title at the top, the spirit symbol cost in the upper right hand corner, the level in the lower left hand corner, its ability at the bottom, and its victory point worth in the bottom right hand corner. First you should resolve any harvest abilities listed on your cards and score any victory points in your field. The victory points will come from the blue symbol on the left of the card, not the gray symbol on the right of the card. If you have victory points to collect, take that number of tokens from the pool. In order to buy advancement cards, you have to have mana points to spend. Simply count up the number of mana symbols in your field, including those given to you by harvest abilities. Your on-deck card does not count. For example, in my starting field, I have two mana symbols. So I have two mana to spend in the commons or on fertile soils. Once you've counted up your mana, you can spend it on advancement cards or fertile soils. You can buy up to two advancement cards during your turn. Your leftover mana will not carry over to the next harvest phase. However, if your mana token is active and you choose not to use your extra mana, that will stay active until you use it. 
Veil cards can be bought with spirit symbols. Count up the number and type of spirit symbols in your field. There are four different types of symbols. Animal, forest, sky, and wild. If a veil card has a rainbow wild spirit, you can use any symbol for that symbol. Veil cards cannot be used on the same term that they are bought. At the start of the discard phase, sleep all newly acquired advancements by sliding them into the sleeve of the card in your field. Keep in mind that you cannot cover an already present advancement, but you can cover an ability that runs the length of the card. Then, discard all cards in your field face down. Do not discard your on-deck card. Now replenish any Veil and Common cards you bought. If you run out of level 1 advancements, replace the empty spaces with level 2s, and likewise, if you run out of level 2 advancements, replace them with level 3s. The prep phase can be done at different times. To make the game go faster, you can begin your prep phase at the end of your turn while the next player takes their turn. You can also choose to wait until the player has completely finished their prep phase before the next player takes their turn. The prep phase is done exactly how your starting field was. However, you may now have cards that have a win played ability. If you have a card with a win played ability, it must be done when the card is placed into the field. Keep playing cards until you have three decay symbols showing. It is possible now to have more than one decay symbol on a card. If you were to have two decay symbols in your field, and you drew a card with two decay symbols on it, that would give you four decay symbols and you would immediately spoil. The end game is triggered when the victory tokens in the pool run out. Finish the round and begin scoring. If players gain tokens after the pool has run out, take them from the leftover tokens in the box. You score points in three ways. Tokens, gray victory point symbols on advancements, and victory point symbols on the veil cards. Add up the total number of points on all cards and tokens. Whoever has the most points is the winner. If there is a tie, the player with the most combined level 3 advancements and level 2 veil cards is the winner. If there is still a tie, players share the win. And that's Mystic Veil. Hello everyone! We're back! Live it off. It's super off. I can't see this without the real high. It is real high. That's too low. Well, uh, I think it's too low. Yes, it is. It's tilted. It's in the. Oh, I wasn't looking at that. Oh, hold on. That's why. This is really high. Use us with our tech issues. Might warn. My big age mom. <laughs> I am failing miserably. Happy Friday. I'm... This is how my week has gone. If you want. Hold on. We're screwing this. <laughs> if you want a like physical indication about how my week is gone, this is it. No push it up here. <clears throat> it's literally like It's too far. Kind of there we go. Is that better? Yeah. Alright. The art's gorgeous. We'll try to show you the cards as we're playing them. This is why we want to move in the back room. <laughs> this is exactly why we want to move into the back room. How is the back room going to make this different? Because, because we'll have an actual place for it to sit. Because right now the camera is, with all the other stuff, I want to have it freestanding. So it doesn't have to move. Okay. I may adjust the brightness. Fangirl, it's just Friday. 
I feel like I'm in the mood for Friday. Friday. Indeed. Sure, I'll throw away your orange peel. Thanks. I mean, I'm much closer to the trash can. The last time I handed it to, or I handed it to him, he took it from me. <sighs> no, I know what they're for now, Box. Okay. Look, there's our camera light. <laughs> yes. And I did just turn on the brightness a little bit so it makes it easier to see everything. Okay. So we're each playing a different druids. I am playing the green druids. They have a name. They I don't have know names. Well, I'll tell you. I will tell you these names. Aren't there threes? No. Oh. There are three advancement cards. Mm. Are there three advancement cards. All right. Uh, Derek is playing the Beast Brothers. Beast Bros! Look, um, it's a bear... It's a bear paw. I'm playing the Life Wardens, which is the green. Which makes sense, because it's a leaf. Like, like. And Megan... The Brightson family. Not the Brightsons. Is playing the Dawn Seekers. The Dawn. Dawn Seekers! The Seekers of the Dawn! There is one more deck, which is the blue deck, which is the Wave Guards. It's water. I don't know. Guys, should I play blue or green? You always play green. Don't break it. And he wants to ask the chat. Blue. Live your own life. Blue, 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 green. Live your own life. Blue is pretty. So I'm going to blue. Then why didn't you choose to begin with? You bowed to peer pressure. Peer pressure. Guys, don't bow to peer pressure. Your friends don't know what's best for you. Only you know what's best for you. If I made my decisions by myself... You'd never make a decision? Yep. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> Alright. So, to start with... For realsies now. So we all flipped over our little tokens. Derek is going first. Stop! Star. Yeah, he didn't have a lot of. Well, if we all do it below, he. If, I'll put mine here. You put yours there, and he can put his here. It's fairly inconvenient for him. We will figure it out. But he must go first. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have anyone to go first. Okay. Would you like me to go first? No, I'll go first. Yeah, but that's not. But the thing is, they can't see that at all. Can't see. Okay, bossy, Betty's. I did it. You did it. Okay. Huzzah! So you have. He has three. Okay. Now you could push if you wanted to. No. Okay. 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 I'm gonna buy. <laughs> okay, just getting an eyeball for what's out there. Yep. Um. I'm gonna what get you going to take? these tree fellas. Okay, show the for two. Show the people the Look, beautiful card. They're terrifying podlings. They're scary groups. And I'm going to put it into this boy. Look how cool. They're clear so that when you put them in wow. here, you can have three different scenes there. You want that in a card that has a first line? First line. You know what? I'm not good at this game. Well, that's why I'm literally I don't need help. help. Okay. I have one more to spin. I will take a. Those nope, are two. Those are two. Huh? They're two. Those are two. Those are two. Okay, well. Yeah. Alright, 
So now all of those cards go in Derek's discard pile. Discard pile. When we were filming this, I had a really good like first starting hand. Like a really good first starting hand. And you weren't quite right. I just got I got three. Contingency! We are a board game channel. We're here Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Welcome! Welcome, contingent contingency! Yes, we stream three nights a week. Uh, Mondays and Fridays. Mondays and Fridays we play normal board games, much like Mystic Vale. Um, and then on Wednesdays we go back and forth between playing a legacy game. Right now we're playing Betrayal Legacy. And on the other Wednesday we play D&D. &D. I too am going to take podlings and I'm going to put them in this blank one right here. Watch this. Watch this. Because Derek's going to do it on camera. Ready? This is, this is my favorite thing. Da 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 da. I love it. This is my favorite part of this game. This is why I love this game. So, I will discard. As the game goes, you're going to start filling up your blank cards with points. And, and then as it, and then as they get shuffled back in, those points come out and you can buy more things. That's what would happen if I did the how to play. Hey, that's awesome. Um we went to a Oh man, I wish we had game, a board game bar here. We went to a board game bar not like three weeks ago? Two weeks ago? Mm -hmm. Three weeks ago? Something like that. In DC. Okay. I have four. Of course you have that ridiculous hand. I'm going to do Ooh. I I'm gonna do the Peacekeeper Druid. And I like all these ideas. Now we should do we should you should do a bread and, and a breakfast. Fertile soil. Fertile soil. So that's what I'm gonna buy on Monday. Alright. Derek, it's your turn again. Yeah, one. Two. Two. I'll take one of those boys. Which one? Top, middle, or bottom? You also have the You also have the earth. Earth Chant Chorus. Other advancements out of this card cost two mana less. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. No, I want a fertile soil. Top, middle, or bottom? Uh, bottom. I like to build from the bottom. Because then I can say, now we're here. Yes. Alright. Starting off strong. Starting off strong. I feel like air board games would be I like an air play, like an airline that provides you board games to play instead of Wi-Fi and movies. <laughs> okay. When turbulence happens, turbulence. Better have hope you don't have meeples out. Okay. Europe? No, have not seen it. I have not been. I have okay. I've been out of the country technically. Technically, but that was to the Bahamas, and I didn't need a passport, so I don't feel like that counts. Does uh, does the Atlantic Ocean count as international waters? Because if it doesn't, then I've never left this country. Um, I mean, if you've been to Canada or Mexico, that counts. What I'm telling you is I've been in the Atlantic Ocean, and that's the closest I've been to not being on American soil. Oh, okay, I understand what you mean. I was like, when have you been in the Atlantic Ocean? You mean like beach? I'm gonna yes, take the Atlantic Ocean. Gotcha. I'm going okay. to have to take a fertile soil as well for my two. Yeah, but I didn't need a passport for it. I feel like I the, for to truly be out of the country, I have to have a passport. Where were you? Technically, the Bahamas. Oh, gotcha. Nassau and Freeport. The, those piratey places. Those piratey places. I've never Nassau been. is beautiful. Don't go to the straw market. Everybody says, go to the straw market. It's the best place ever. If you're claustrophobic, don't go to the straw market. Don't do it. Don't put yourself through that. <laughs> Derek, your turn, sir. Well, I guess that's true. You don't have to have a passport to go to European countries? Is it because it's part of the EU? I want, I want to backpack Europe. 
It sounds like fun. You oh, you you struggle to backpack on pasta, beer, other foods that I've never had, languages that I don't understand. Okay, now you're starting to listen to something like you. Gourmet put <laughs> historical places. Cormier. <laughs> okay, it's your turn. Oh, sorry. I would love to go to the Mediterranean. So, fun story about Nassau. Uh, Pirates use. Our friend Lauren doesn't know how to say that word. She does now. No, if you ask her to read that word, oh, she has to think about it. She'll think about it because she won't. She won't. She used to say Nassau. Nassau. Can I have? Okay, my turn. Curse land. Fertile soil. Fertile soil. Curse land. Should be a fairly good round. I want to play. Four. Um, Carcassonne in Carcassonne. Carcassonne. That's about the extent Carcassonne. of board games that I would travel with. What? We play Ticket to Ride later. on a train. On a train. Yeah, but I wasn't transporting it. No, uh, we right. are in West Virginia. Yeah. In the United States. The far off land. The far off land of West Virginia. Alright, my turn. Promise we're not. One. Two. No, I mean, I crazy. assume. I mean, Ticket to Ride on a train was pretty legit. <laughs> Terraforming Mars, I'm in. Yes. If someone wants to take me to Mars, I will play Terraforming Mars with them. I would like to play Sagrada at the. Uh, <laughs> I would like to play Sagrada at the. Uh, uh, I'm going to take a the cathedral though, because it's, it's really good. No, I'm gonna. No, 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 no. We could play Ticket to Ride Europe while on the train traveling through Europe. That would be pretty this nice. Seems, that seems like a great idea. Ooh. But Sagrada Familia, thank you. I could not think of it to save my life. I had a friend who visited there. I feel like the church wouldn't let you play a dice game in there. I don't need to play in there. I'll just play next to it. Mm -hmm. I see. Is it my turn? Uh huh. We aren't announcing our turns. One, two, three, four. Big turn, big turn. <laughs> big money, big money, big money. Oh, oh there it is. All right, so four. You have the field of flowers. You have the grassland, and you have the dawn singer. Um, or you have the moon wolf, which is four as well. Oh, you do have the moon wolf. Moon wolf. Moon wolf. Very smart. There's Megan's favorite card. My favorite card. Do you want to show them it? Look at my tree. favorite card. Look at that baby. Look at him. Megan actually painted that owl on her bag when we went to Gen Con. Look how cute he is. I love him. All right. What is Parkwell? Parkwell. Park. In Park. Well, park. Who? Parkwell. Park. Park. It's by, it's the city where park the chicken lake. All right. I only had two. I took a fertile soil. My turn. One. Barcelona. Two. Barcelona. Wow, I am I am rocking out right now. On fire. I'm at the bottom of my deck, so I'm shuffling this. It is. I'm gonna take a bottom. Fertile soil. Barcelona. I'm also gonna shuffle mine because there's I'm gonna have to after this anyways. I'd like to go and see the Vatican City. Does Jumanji count? Sure! Ooh, I don't want to play Jumanji in Jumanji. Can we play Jumanji in the Amazon? It, it actually is... I'm a parana. Uh, Catskills, this is very much a very organized game, because like I said, it's very neat in the way that you stack things. Boom, 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 boom. 
The neighborhood is so well traveled. <laughs> I know, and I'm not. The neighborhood is far more well traveled than I am. It is your turn, sir. Okay. okay. Speaking of the neighborhood, anyone that's new here, we are Board Welcome. Game House. Welcome. Uh, we play board Gee. games on the internet for all you lovely people. Uh, feel free to hit that follow button to let you know when we go live. Four, nice. Jeez. Jeez, it's just four. Jeez. I've had like three rounds of two in a row. Um, we have. You can push. Yeah, you can push if you want to. It's a plow. The Dawn Singer. I don't really have parts of the Dawn Singer though. With this, mm -hmm. you're going to get one anytime it comes up. No. Anytime it comes up. Well, as long as you don't spoil that round. I'll push. Well, no, you don't flip it over the push. I am not cut out for that. Or do I flip it over? If you spoil, you flip if it you over. If you spoil, you flip it over. And you, you spoil. So nice. Well, you guys suck. Why do we suck? Peer pressure. <laughs> Kids don't give any peer pressure, somebody said earlier. Rude. You didn't have to do it. Not just an option. Huh? Really? 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 Well, the bottoms so are out. Navy, they'll, they'll fix you up nice. Eh, I don't think I'm meant for a boat. All right, my turn. Beep. One. Peep. Two. Three. No, two. Sorry. Oh, fangirl. Have a good night. I don't Are know why my voice is doing that. Ninja All right, games. I'm going to push because I have the uh, I have the peacekeeper Ooh, druid. I like the peacekeeper druid. So the peacekeeper druid on uh. Once this turn, if you were to spoil, you may discard your on deck card instead. So I'm gonna put it there just so we can see it. I don't, I don't, yeah. Boats and boats and rules and people yelling. The navy is not for me. What about the pirates? Like is the pirates like for you? I can do pirates. That that code. So I'm gonna discard that card. So one, I'd two, be pretty happy three, with that. four. Four. Four and I'm going to take. Wait, which one did you discard? Oh, this is mine. But not like Captain Phillips pirates. Like, like pirates, pirates. Garrett. Yeah, like like we have sails and swords. <gasps> pirates of the Caribbean pirates. Yeah, that would be cool. All right, uh, Derek, sir, it is your turn. Uh, we have cleansing rain. Ooh. When played. <laughs> Ooh. Gonna be a good round for Derek. Do you want to push? No. Now remember that counts as an extra one now. Yeah. Yeah, I know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I understand. I understand. Let me look at that top row. Call them ones for seven. Then play. Look at your next card. Look, you may discard it. Ooh. Or you have the Mindful Owl, which is only six. When played, you may discard a card that's in your field, so you could actually discard a... That's a good one. I like the Mindful Owl. I'm going to take the Griffin. Okay. Hey, I completed a card. Nice. Curse land. Curse land. Curse land. Well, I guess I'm taking this. Wait, can you turn that out. And I used my coin, so I'm flipping it back over. Yep. Done. All right. Yes. My turn. Curse land. I've never played Seven so. Wonders. We Three. started to play Seven Wonders at said board game bar, but that ended poorly. No, it was missing a deck. It was missing a deck, and we were at the bar. We weren't even at a table, so it was kind of difficult. Alright, I have three. Can we even figure out what, uh, what, uh... I'm gonna do Cleansing Rain. Contingency's board game bar was called? Yeah, what's your board game bar called, Contingency? We're gonna go look it up. If I'm ever in the Europe, if we'll I'm, come. If I'm ever in the Europe. It can't be that big. In the Europe. 6.5 winters. Yeah, the other game that we played, the 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 other two games we played were fine. So. Yeah, Lotus was really a lot of fun. Yeah. Well, 
That was my turn? Yeah. Two. Three. Three. Treat yourself. So, now do the seedling. Seedling. Put oil, or you can push. I need to buy seedlings because I can't use it. I will. Ooh. You want to put oil and just finish that one card? No, I'll push it. I'm going to push it. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Seven before you ask. It's nine. Oh, you're right. It's nine. Sorry. <laughs> I am going to push. <laughs> nice. So, so now you have four. 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 So you can take the grass land. You can take the, the dawn singer. singer. You can take. You can push again. And but, possibly get a yeah. long. It's not really worth pushing, though. You don't have another thing. Um, I'm going to just grab um a top and a middle. Top and a middle. Yeah. Fancy. There you go, sir. All right. Now it's my turn. One. Four. Five. Ooh. Ooh. He has five. Nice. Do you want to push and try to get the one? I do kind of want to push it. Did you say did you say in the how to play that there are nine of those in there? I did not. So in your deck there are nine cursed lands. I often just go through the discard count how many's in there if I'm looking to push because if I have if I've got this many cards left only one of these is a cursed land. So the likelihood of me, of me drawing it when I pushed this last time was low and that's why I did it. I took the mindful owl. Because I had six. I think two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. All right. My turn. One, two, three, four. I should have taken flowers. That's okay. Um. Sometimes one, two, you can get really crazy. It starts getting really crazy when people start getting like one, two, the three, these symbols, four, the growth five. symbols that cancel out stuff. Six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna push. Nice. I'm gonna stop there. Two, three, four, five, six. So I have six. This is very gingery. Whoa, buddy. Um and I'm gonna Ooh, take buddy. I I'm gonna take a flop. A flower? That was seven. It's five. That was five. Oh. Your turn. Yes. Okay. I don't mind cough drops so much. It's warm in here. I'm gonna try to keep it. That's okay. That's okay. But I think that's more because. Here, are you cold? No, I'm comfortable. For right, the I'm same reason, off. I fell in love with ginger. Because when you're a music student, that ginger. Uh, 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 I like the ginger root. Whoa. Which grows here in the dub -wee. It does. Uh, I remember something I forgot to announce. Not, not ginger. The ginger Ginseng. Root. I forgot something I had to announce. Ginger root announce also here. grows here. Ginger root also grows Yes. Oh. Something I forgot to announce earlier. Where I'll let Derek finish his turn. I'll do it before my turn. One, two, three. Uh, you do make a lot of announcements and you don't tell us that you're going to make announcements. That's true. I feel like it's something we already know. We just don't, aren't thinking about it. I feel like it's also dangerous. What if you announce Ginseng something is that worth I don't agree with? I feel like I do that anyways. You do. <laughs> it is. There was a show for a little while on. I'm going to push. Like. And I uh, uh. All right, Something. Megan. I thought you were going to. I'll wait till my turn. Build a suspense for the people. 
I don't think they care. They're talking about cough drops. Anyway, when a music major, voice, vocal major, ginger, tea, and cough drops were my life. So. Plus, if you don't like drinking ginger, just boiling the ginger smells real good. It does. Boiling ginger smells real good. So, like, if you got family coming over, or if you, like, are cleaning the house, go buy some ginger from the store. I don't know how expensive it Ginger's is. Ginger's expensive. But you just boil that At stuff. least here it is. I've never used caro syrup. That's interesting. Da, 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 da. There it goes. Two, three, four. Okay, I have four. Oh, 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 oh! I can buy things. You can buy a griffin. I can buy this. I'm gonna buy it. What is it? Sunstone Airy. This lets me do something. Once per turn, I can spend two to use any of the symbols as a walk. Really, I that late, but one, two, three, four. Jobs. All right. Thing I forgot to announce earlier. Um, if you're in our Discord and you are a member of the community, make sure you link your Twitch account oh, yeah, to that. your uh discord because if you are a sub in the channel when we play games like jackbox you will get first dibs on those games to join us um because we want to play with you guys and you guys are important to us so yeah uh so if you want to join our discord they'll probably put the command up in the chat in just a second uh join us in there where they're talking constantly having fun uh and we love you know interacting with you guys you made it sound like it was going to be fun and it wasn't is the discord not fun to you don't answer that <laughs> hmm. Okay, Juan? No, it's my turn. What are you doing? I thought that was the end of your turn. No, I did. That was the beginning of his turn. Huh. Ginger tea was mostly the the go to. Anytime you saw really saw a thermos in somebody who was a vocal major's hand, it was probably One, ginger two, tea. Three, four, five. I have five. Um, I'm going to buy a plow. Plow? Wait, wait, wait. Is that five? No, I'm going to buy this hulking beast. The only problem with that one is it's got a... Yeah, I know. But it also has three victory points, so... Moon Wolf, now it's your turn. Correct. I'm just going to check my discard pile. Yeah, four actually total. Yes. You can get the Wellspring, Grassland, Seedling, Moon Wolf. Or two for the foils. Hi, Faith. Uh, ah, uh, hey, Meta Mommy, welcome. <laughs> Okay, Faith, you're gonna have to go in the bedroom if you're doing that. Hello, Madam Mommy! This one kind of made me a little sick to my stomach. But it may be because I don't have a lot of stuff on. Shoot. Um. I'm going to grab the. I'm gonna go. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright. Megan! My turn. Wait, we never figured out. I don't know if they never put it in here or if we just missed it, but contingency, if you are still here and not lurking, what is the name of your board game bar? Because I want to know. Play you know, discard any other card in your field. Discard. Well, <laughs> you, just, like, you threw another one. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
seven. I can get calm weather. I can get the smart thing to do though is to get a cloud. Whoops, there we go. In front. In front. And let's let's take Okay, my turn. They may be busy. We need... Running a board game bar. Yeah. <laughs> For realsies, right. though. So, one, two, three, four, five. Um, I get one victory point. One so get a victory point. There goes the first victory point. First victory point. Um, and I have five. Ooh, that's okay. So I'm going to take... I wasn't smacking you. I was oh. trying to do this and I hit you. I'm like, why are you smacking me? I didn't do anything. <sighs> You've always done something. I'm just going to take the druid song. But I also have... I also have... Uh, a sun and a flower. A sun and. So I take one of the three blooming armors that are out there. You can, you can, you can. Exodus Road. That would have been nice earlier when I had those. Okay, Juan. Joe's. A bunch. Again. More. Please. Here we go. Even more. Uh huh. Okay. You didn't do this action. You can't do it now because you've already gone through it, but we'll let you discard this. Okay. You have so many! Correct. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright, you can get Aurora. Gain one victory point for every two cards in your field. Ooh, that, that one you just laid out there, that one was a lot of points. Two you shield can... cards? No, you gain one of these for every two every cards, two cards you have field. out there. Just number of cards. Oh. Um, you can get Calm Weather, which lets you look on your next on deck card and you can discard it. Um, you can get the Int Elder, which gives you, all, which kinds gives of you extra stuff. all kinds of extra stuff. You can get the bear to you can get anything on the board right now. I will go for Faith, please stop jumping up there. Next thing out there is a hive swarm. Hive swarm. Ooh. Which is only eight. Only eight. Cursed land. Cursed land. Cursed land. Push, 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 push. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, Stop running away from the okay. I'll just take a fertile swing. Do, 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 do. Okay. Alright, my turn. Your turn. Curse land. Curse land. Blink. Fertile soil. Curse land. So I have three. Um I'm going to with that three. I'm just gonna do a fertile soil. Mm. Middle. Okay, Juan. Okay, okay, okay. Another big one for you. 
correct. Gain one for every two cards. Two, four, six, eight. So, so four. four, please. You can buy a that radiant pinnacle too. Uh, That's the only one you can get. Harvest gain one. Just to be used out here. Yeah, as a constant too. Okay, and then I have one, two, three, four, five, six to use. Is that an eight up there or a six? This one? Yeah. Eight. These two are sixes. Faith, you gotta stop, sweetie. I love you, but you're being a jerk. Bear. Bear. One. No. Oh. I shot with those. <sighs> no, I'm going to take this. Took the life bringer seed. It cancels all okay, decay. I can on a search card. my on the card, my deck, and I can discard one. Well, I'm gonna discard this one. Obvi. I'm just gonna shake, 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 shake it off. So you start doing Twitch things, or you're just gonna do them for two. If we do Twitch things, I'm gonna X. I'm going to push. And I'm going to use this, my Peacekeeper Druid, to discard this card. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I have six. <sighs> I say that now, and I mean it now. I have no desire to put my singing out there for people to see. But you do on a regular basis. Yeah, but that's just singing like regular. You all are going to start actually singing, and I'm just going to be like, Ugh. That's a three. That shouldn't be in here. Nope, that should be up here. It's spooky. Moonwolf! Ooh ha ha! <laughs> Ooh ha ha! It's three. It's three. Three pieces. <laughs> okay, little bit, little bit, little bit. I will take a. Uh, a middle fertile soil. Almost out of those. Yes. Bye. Bye. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. What do I want? What do you need? Well, I That hive swarm is what I want. My turn. One. Two. Okay. So I'm going to stop there. I get three points. Three points! And I have four. And 
Let's uh, let's move over to the front here. Nightbringer. Hey, anybody's new here? We are Board Game House. We are playing Mystic Veil. Vale. We're playing what was a very beautifully set up game and is now all wonky. But that's okay because the cards are slick. I'm just going to buy that last bill for the sword. There you go. Okay. Cards it's better for me to have it than you two. One, two. Sweet, sweet. Sweet, sweet. Did I get a Greek one? No, she hasn't finished yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope, not risking that. A 50 50 chance. Nope, not risking that. So I'm going to take my victory point, and I have one, two, three. Four, five, six. Mm -hmm. Six. And if I add it to this one, it is two less if I want. Yes. But you so you could do a lower value and it's still two less. I could, I could, I could. You could also get a free fertile soil as a second card. I could, I could. Okay, you've got to stop, soon. You're going to bed, come on. Six. Um. Look in your grease for you grab it. Hmm. What am I going to do? So this game, we're playing Druids. Megan plays a Druid in our home D&D game. I'm sorry, in our on-screen D&D game. I do. She plays an Ice Genot in Druid. I'm going to take Calm Weather. For five. Because I have one left, but I, don't, I can't do anything for one left. Oh. One, two, three. I can buy things. Mm -hmm. All right, ready? Ready. I have a victory point now. Helpless, faithless. Okay, listen. You know what? I was like, I'm gonna play a druid. I wanted to play a druid since like the beginning, but when we first started all of this, and I was like, this is gonna be great. One, two, three, it's four, terrifying. five, six. And overwhelming. Woodland Warden. Gain two victory points for each guardian helmet. The problem is the guardian helmets when they're really small they look like Cybermen. <laughs> um Oof. Six. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six. I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy this one. I'm buy this for six. Okay. Let's look at the next card. The Feral Chieftain! What? Um, hold on. I still have to buy this stuff. I'm gonna buy. Will Tree. What? 
Ooh. Two. You can keep going. Yeah, I can, but when you look at the next card in your deck and discard You've got to remember to do that when you play it. But I'm looking at it right here. But you have to do it when you play it, when you place it into your field. Oh, this one would have been discarded. That one wouldn't have, have discarded, discarded anyway. Never mind. Okay. But you can still I can, keep yeah. going because you have yes. that. Tree. Yeah, the growth symbol. I love this game. It is my favorite. Bear, bear, bear. <laughs> I wish. More than anything. More than life. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight. No more. No more. No more. I kind of decided that if I were, uh, I have a two, to compare myself two. to a Disney princess as much as I would want it to be Belle, it would definitely be Rapunzel. What? He has the growth circle. You can buy everything out there. Anything you want. Anything you want, you can have. Also, you have a bear paw. A bear paw and no, he used that to get that. Oh, never mind. You used what to get what? He has and that and, and that this. to get the to and get. I used it to oh. buy this. He already bought that when you were paying attention. Okay, I understand. <sighs> Anyways, if you'd be any Disney princess, you never finished your thought. No, I said I, as much as I would want it to be Belle, it would be probably would be Rapunzel. If I were, that's probably who I identify most with. I was a Disney princess. You wouldn't be. You would be a Disney villain. True story. <laughs> yes. Oh, Meta Mommy, that's so cute. Shitty titties. Um, I don't think I'm even a little. Which, Not Maleficent. Which which Disney villain would I be? Need someone cocky. Thanks? You know you're cocky. I'd be Shere Khan. Nah. I feel like you'd be more Gaston. Well, though. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely hit on the people who don't want it. <laughs> Not true. It's a joke. Prince Hans. Ooh, that's a good one. But when you look like one. me, they all want it. That's a good one, though, Prince Hans. But yes, guess not. Actually, you... Re <laughs> when we did Beauty and the Beast, I read with you when you were guest on. Ironically enough, I when I went in to read, uh, the director, Nina, wanted me to... She just wanted me to read guest on. Yeah. And I'm like, I want to read LeFou. And so, at one point... They wanted me to sing some more, so I did the reprise to Gaston, and I literally switched voices halfway through, kind of like move where I was on the stage, and that's, that's why, why that's they why I got, read it. That's well, that's why I got the food. Nice. Is because they didn't think like because I like, yes to, Timon and Pumbaa. Yes. 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 Who are you? Simba? I just look like Simba. Who am I? Oh, Captain Hook. 24601. You're not Captain Hook. Jean I don't like children. I want to be ageless. You're not Captain Hook. Hades. Um. Simba doesn't <sighs> stay a baby for the whole movie. Your turn. Scar, no. Scar is the best. 
Hmm. I gotta think about <laughs> syndrome. <laughs> I'm cool with <in> syndrome. <laughs> Um, which syndrome? Stockholm syndrome? Nah, he looks like there are there are pictures where Derek looks like syndrome. I would have looked more like syndrome when I had my fat face if I would have grown my hair out. Money, big money, big money. Push. I am no. more. I'm more like Dan Stevens' beast than the beast from the animated one. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can get anything you want. I can get anything I want, but none of the chieftains or anything are where I need them to be. <laughs> So, what do I want? I feel like I'm a lot like, um, Finn Rider. Lynn? That's what I said. You said Finn. But I do love the Hunchback of Notre Dame. I do love it. I kind of feel like I'm more like the Jester in Hunchback of Notre Dame than anybody else. Oh, I can buy things. I don't take things seriously, but I am willing to start a revolution. I, I mean, Gormire, if you want, we can move to the Sahara right now. I'm game. Let's do this. I can buy this, and I can buy this. I can buy them both, and I can buy two, right? Yeah, I can buy you two bill stuff. cards. You yes. have the stuff for it. Okay. Well, you can only buy two of um, these. Two of these. That's why I was making sure I could buy two of them. I believe you buy two of these. Okay. And then I took this one. Just like some kobolds, am I right? I feel like that was spoilery. No, it wasn't. Don't worry about it. I'm halfway through the next episode. So now I'm only an episode and a half behind. Because I didn't watch yesterday's episode. Yeah. Okay, my turn. If we had the money and the time, I think I would definitely be able to pull off a puppet show here on Twitch. If they can do Travis Willingham's Yegong Ranch, if they can do all that biz, if we had the time and money, people would watch me do the puppet puppets. shows. Yeah. That's hilarious. You know what? And I'm not even going to, like, fight that, argue that, because I feel like people would watch that. Oh, yeah. No one is Milo Thatch. Milo Thatch is the best. No one is as good as he is. I've only seen Atlantis once. Oh my God, maybe. So maybe. maybe. You know what movie I want to watch now? Atlantis? No. Road to El Dorado. Mm. Not a Disney movie. Elton John, man. But a great movie. Yeah, there's still uh, the, the ticking... Stopping there. Weekly. <laughs> Road to El Dorado is a great movie. Okay. Um... What's that song? The old John song. That's that old John song. Um, the first one? The first one? No, when they're like going through the jungle. No, I can't remember. I'm gonna buy oh, this. Beautiful. Cause I have. Now I have to watch it. That, that, and that. Damn it! So, I gain two. Do I get to this turn when I gain this or not? No. You do not when okay. on this turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I get one of these and I have seven points to spend. Magnificent and golden. Can you get it from that? Nope. Nope. I love Lilo and Stitch. Yeah, well, that's it. I have to. It's gonna. I'm not Ooh. gonna. I'm not going to be able to function if I can't hear it. So, second question. One. Who is your all's favorite Disney sidekicks? Or sidekick? 
Le Fou. It could know. be. It could be Le Fou. It could be. It could be a. No, Pascal, maybe. <laughs> I'm sick. No, Miko. Hey, hey! Sounds loud. What is Pua. Pua. Hey, hey, and Pua. Hey, hey, and Pua are yours? No. Ugh. Miko and Flint. No! Miko and Percy. Ugh! It's so hard. The animals are so much fun. What about Raja? Raja's, Abu. Raja's kind of uppity. What about Abu? Abu ruins. Abu. The magic carpet. What? Uh, the magic carpet is, is such... Iago? I do like Iago. I don't like Abu. I think I think Abu gets in the way of he gets in the way of the story. Pascal, Pascal. that's a good one. Mushu, Mushu's a good one. Good Ed. Ruby Goldberg. Rosie O'Donnell in Tarzan. Is Genie considered a sidekick? Yes. Genie is considered. The sidekicks are better than the main characters. I think Genie would be a sidekick. The the main character in Aladdin is Aladdin. It's not called Genie, it's called Aladdin. <laughs> so. Alright, um, Derek, I went and it's your turn, sir. Okay. He's still trying to find that song. Don't turn it up too loud. So they can't hear it, is what I'm saying. I got, yeah, I got it right here in my ear. There you go. <laughs> Alright. Stop it. Play, damn it. Alright, I got five to spend. I need another car now. Blue. I can buy this. <laughs> My favorite is Nico and Percy. They never fail to make me laugh. Oh, we need another two out there. Yeah, if there's another... If there's sidekicks that make me laugh more, it's, it's Nico and Percy from Pocahontas. They make that movie for me. I love them so much. Are you going to listen to the whole thing? To yep. Say? No. I have to get to the chorus. Just get to the chorus. Ooh, Launchpad McQuack. Nice. 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 Derek's dancing. Something that I wish we had like the remote control camera so I could just like pan over to him. <laughs> Kronk! Kronk is such a good one! Also, uh, squeak, 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 squeakity, squeak, squeak, squeak. Emperor's New Groove is an underrated Disney movie. I love that movie. Lumiere and Cogsworth, there. Alright, I got it now. Elton John, man. <laughs> anytime. Too good. Anytime we sneak. Too good. Anytime we sneak in the home campaign, it's. Is he doing what, his own theme music? What they don't know is that I am uh, rolling <laughs> with advantage against them every time I do it. Ooh. They're like, well, you're making noise now, so... I'm just going to purchase that top. For what me. about Philatides? That's it? Oh, yeah, you only have one place you can put it, so... Yeah, and, like, the only other thing... I can buy this... But you can't actually put it but anywhere, it, so you can't... I mean, it. I can put... I could have put it up here. Yeah, but that's not worth it. Yeah. Philatides? Excuse me, this is a family stream. Watch your language. Hades, you're Hades. I know, it's so good. Philoctetes is one of those guys... Language? You know that I say titties on here all the time, right? <laughs> it's a joke. He trained Achilles. Oh, Baymax. It's just, he, he's the one that points out all of his flaws. But Danny DeVito's amazing. I'll watch Danny DeVito in anything. Oh, no. Oh no! Do you push? Or do you just wait? Yes! That was, oh! That was a poor decision. That probably just cost Hold me. Hold on. Money. Stop. I'm gonna help you. <gasps> yes! Discard, discard, discard! So, I am going? alive! Four. Thank you, Steven. You're welcome. You can also buy. No, oh, but then I have to use two. Oh, I. Not Three. Four. I have four. Mm -hmm. 
by the Wayfinder. When I hear Wayfinder, I just think of like some type of GPS system. When I hear Wayfinder, I think of Moana. Mm -hmm. Alright, my turn! One. Ooh, Robin Hood's a good one. Man, that snake in there, he's hysterical. I'm just gonna stick with the two that I have. Well, hold on. No, wait. No, I'm not. I'm gonna keep going, because I have that, so I can discard mm. the next card. Boom. Okay. One, two, three, four. No. Four. You can also She's buy not. things. Mm -hmm. The fairy godmother. She reminds me of my of my Grammy. Oh. But she's not a sidekick. She's more like a featured character. The mice. Oh, wait, I get two kicks. more because of this as well. You know what? No, I changed my mind. I'm Lucifer the cat. From Aristocats. <laughs> no, from. So, Cinderella. Oh, yeah. Here's the thing I don't understand about this. You know how you said you can't use the same card to pick it up? Uh-huh. Harvest, gain two, and you may buy a third advancement this turn. That's when you on your on your harvest phase. Got you. So it's During every During your harvest phase, phase okay. yes. It's every harvest phase. So two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> I, I don't know. I may points. be Marie. I think I'm more of a Marie from Aristocats. Two loose. <laughs> so three... And two, these are going to be two cards I buy. What was the other one? Then? It's Toulouse, Marie, and So Berlioz. what's really cool is that this card started as a blank card, but as you can see, as you build the cards, it's a blank card. you get like lots of different benefits from just a, what was a blank card. Steven is obviously not interested in what we're really here for, which is the Disney sidekicks conversation. Aristocats is such a good movie. Who else is a good movie? Oliver and Company. What should I worry? But do not watch it when you're driving home from a very long New York trip and you can't actually see the movie. It will put you to sleep. <laughs> Just a <laughs> sad baby oyster. <laughs> All right, I get two victory points. So which thing? This one. Yes. Wait. You two? Yeah. One for every for every two in the field. Got you. Okay, sorry. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Doug from up. You know what? Oh well, yeah. Because I I guess okay. So I guess Carl is the main, main which means that Russell would be a sidekick, and I really like Russell. Yeah, Russell's good. I hug Russell and Doug. Good. I just met you and I love you. I'm pretty sure that's what I said to Gormai the first time I said him. The <laughs> first time I met him. I just met you and I love you. You are my master. Squirrel. Yes. Home on the range. Ugh. To be fair, Chicken Little wasn't very good. You, yeah, but like, there, there's there's a jump between like I think Mulan, mm -hmm. and, then, and then they got into tangled. like they got into like their like down years where they didn't really produce good movies, but they had a few good ones like Meet the Robinsons was in that time, and I really like Meet the Robinsons. Uh, Miss Vela, yes, there was a racist one that that, that does no longer exist called Song of the, Song of the South. Yeah, but that was a long it time ago. It does still exist. Well, it, no, well... It's just very hard to find. It has been removed from all Disney availabilities. Yes, like you, you have to find it on your own. You're it's not going to be available used. on Disney Plus? No. <laughs> I was told, it's not in the vault I was told either. everything would be available on Disney Plus. I do really like the Rescuers. Rescuers Down Under, better... better. I like Rescuers Down Under as well. American Tale, Final Goes West. I don't know if that's Disney. don't like it. And I, it's not, I don't think it is. <laughs> that's, a, that's on Disney Minus. Alright. Have you spent your six yet? No. Um... I mean, the thing is, though, is that t technically there's still a Song of the South ride, because that's what... The problem is, is that Zippy Dee Doo came from that show, 
that and movie. That movie? Yeah, I did. And so they can't scrub that. Is they can't like, scrub Zippy Dee Doo Dah because it's such a well known wait, song. Brent Fox mm -hmm. is racist. Zip, no, well, no, 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 no. Zippy Song of the South was the reason why it is uh, ra considered racist is because the the man in it was was basically not glorifying, but looking back fondly on his slave years. So it doesn't have anything to do with Briar Fox. No, nothing to do with Briar Fox. Just the, it's the... I mean, Briar Rabbit, whatever. Briar Rabbit and... Briar Fox is fucking Briar Bear. Briar Bear. Briar <laughs> Yeah. Splash Mountain, yo! Yes. Alright. <laughs> Cancelled. Favorite non-Disney animated movie? El Dorado. Anastasia. Oh, Anastasia. Bartok. Favorite non Disney animated movie. Actually, you know what? I don't know. I'll give him a ha huh and the ha huh and I'll kick him, sir. Either that, maybe Prince of Egypt is actually very good too. Um, Spirited Away is up there. Princess Mononoke is up there. Meh. Some of that gets too dark for me. Um, I actually haven't seen Totoro. Is Totoro the bus cat? Yes. Well, no, not the bus cat. It's the, the one. The it's little... the. The big guy that waits at the bus station? Yes. Wait, is Brave Little Toaster Disney? No, no Brave Little Toaster's a good one. It doesn't, it doesn't 100% hold up. The animation is, I find, lacking. Okay, Iron Giant's great, though. I have to look here. I mean, Iron Giant's so I good. I still like El Dorado this. more. All right, so here's when... Side note, this is when it starts getting really complicated because I have a card here that, that cancels the this, but now I just got a growth, so I'm actually only down to one cursed land even though yes. there are three showing. So I can keep going. So That's only two. number two. Guys, we're also playing a game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, continue. Um, ooh, Fern Gully. I loved Fern Gully. Oh, no, Land Before guys. Time. Land Before Time. I loved Land Before Time. Nope, I have it. I know what it is. A Rock and Doodle. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh, I have it. So it's few people have Rock watched Rock and Doodle, and it was one of my favorites when I was little. Um, We're back. A dinosaur story good is a good one. one, but I think I have mine. I think I uh, have that's mine. that's Beauty and the Beast. That's Disney. <laughs> Treasure Planet. Oh my god, I love the animation in Treasure Planet so. Treasure Planet much. is Disney. See, I'm just now we're just talking about. I mean, you all Page are talking Master, about it. Page Master, Page Master, somebody. Hold on, though. Page Master is also live action. Does it count? I mean, Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Who Framed Roger that's Rabbit? That's another is very one. Good, but that's no, that's not Disney. They just paid a crap ton. Um, my favorite. Space Jam. Space Jam. No, it's not. Those don't count. That's my, a different category. My favorite non-Disney animated movie. How to Train Your Dragon. Period. I mean, it's good. I love How to Train Your Dragon. It is... You're at two. I'm at two. Elton John does not sing in How to Train Your Dragon. Okay. Um, one, two, that's three. One, well, two. I know, but I'm saying you're at two out here, so if you push, it's going to be three. Yeah, but I'm not... Shrek is also good. Shrek is also good. But Cameron Diaz ruins it. But I think that... How to Train Your Dragon is better than Trek. I think I think How to Train Your Dragon and the sequel. I haven't seen the third one yet. Is the best DreamWorks movie. Just me. Just saying. One, two, three, four, five, six. You say the best sequel. Eight. No best DreamWorks. Movie. Okay. No best sequel to a, to a. Uh... Anime movie, Lion King one and a half. I love that movie. <laughs> Lion King two is also very good. Hulu is underrated. I love that we are all a bunch of adults sitting here talking about our favorite animated movies. Okay. So we adult best. We are the best of adults. Where 
Shock. She's taking another. It's the best one out there. For what I have right now. Thank you, Pixie. Okay. Great. I have two left. Um, that sequel to no, an animated don't. movie. Yes, I do. Toy Better Story 2. Toy Story 2 is very good. Alright. My turn. So you got the force. One. Two. Bullseye. I'm going, oh. I am going to push. What is the oh, last unicorn? Gosh. That sounds terrible. And I'm I actually to... really like Despicable Me. I'm discarding this so I don't spoil. Okay. okay. Alright, so. I didn't even look to see what I had. Disney Channel movie, Halloween Town. Done. Six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five. Halloween Town is definitely up there. Smart House was good. Johnny Tsunami. The Irish was good. Oh, Great. Cadet Kelly. I loved Cadet Kelly. I think I would do anything for Hillary Duff. Um, I really loved Cheetah Girls. Um, I have two sons. Can I do anything with two sons? No. No? No. Um, what? Xenon. I love Xenon. Oh, yes, Xenon. That song. Supernova Girl. There's one. It's not actually... A decom, but I saw it on Disney Channel first, and that's uh, Wish Upon a Star. I did like the Even Stevens movie. I really loved Even Stevens. Lizzie McGuire, Even Stevens, they were so my pushing. jam when no, I was younger. Oh, gotcha. Ding. Did you, did, was this you? No, it was Derek. Oh, did he take? I mean, it wasn't me, that was me. Yeah, it was me. Not a hurricane, if you wanna. Together we can. Two bears. Oh, um, that is. Oh, wait, no, that was Glee. Never mind. Fun fact Glee was supposed to be set in a city about 30 minutes from where I grew up. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Trust me, Lima is nothing like what they have in the mm -hmm. in the TV show. <laughs> we competed against Lima. And no surprise. I think. Not Peru. Get a clue is good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did you know Grandma lived in Ohio? Oh, that's right. But that was only while you were getting your 17th doctorate, correct? Was the one with Lindsay Lohan, wasn't it? Oh, I'm thinking of Harriet the Teenage Spy. Oh my gosh. Right. Megan! <laughs> Rosie O'Donnell. Teenage again. Drama Queen, that was! No, My Life as a Teenage Drama Queen was an actual movie. The remake to The Parent Trap. <laughs> the Parent Trap is a good movie. Alright, the game's over. Mm -hmm. oh, no. Yeah. Yes. We finished the round. I think I can still get one more turn. Four, and who does? That's unless she pushes. She could push. 
I'm thinking about it because I feel like it's like a now or never kind of thing. What's your four points you're going to get? Eight points. What do you have in here? Uh, not enough. Usually I wouldn't, but I feel like it might be important to. I'm going to do it. <laughs> yes! Now you're going to put that over there. I actually, I am because your win played abilities happen first. You're right. So I can actually do this, get rid of that. Mm -hmm. And stop. Okay, so we got some extra coins. <laughs> so there are, this is your eight coins that you're going to get for this. Eight coins, please. My girl, my girl, my girl, my girl. Um. Oh look, now a hawk shows up that I needed on this card. You can still grab it. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can't buy anything in the top row, so I am going to buy the hawk. Okay. You got three more to spend. I can't buy anything. Okay. My turn. Last turn. Of last Eddie's million dollar cook off was good. Life size is good. Eddie's million. I don't. I've never seen that. Okay, so here's what I thought on Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts is a Final Fantasy game with Disney thrown in. At least the first two were. The second one is, or the third one is proving otherwise. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what point you were trying to make. They were talking about it. It's Kingdom Hearts 2, a Disney sequel or Final Fantasy sequel. So I was saying uh -oh, it's Final Fantasy. that Kingdom, the first two were very much Final right. Fantasy with Disney thrown in. Mm -hmm. There's too much weird shit that happens in the games for them to be, for them to not be Final Fantasy. I've never played a Final Fantasy game, but I've seen enough Kingdom Hearts to know that it's weird as shit. <laughs> right. I'm gonna not, I'm not gonna push it. So I'm gonna get three because of that card. Okay. I have nine points total. You can go there. Mm -hmm. That was a good one. The color of friendship. I loved the color of friendship. Hayden Pinatier. Can get it. That wasn't Hayden Pinatier. Color of friendship. Color of friendship? No, yeah. it was not Hayden Pinatier. What? She was too young at that time. That would have been like the the movie about the tiger. She was young at that point. Color of Friendship came out, I'm pretty sure, before Remember the Titans. I could buy one of those, but it doesn't do no good, so I'm not going to worry about it. Alright, guys. That is the end. Uh, so yeah. now I'm wrong. Okay. Now we get to score. She was too young. Now we score. We have seen her before. She's showed up in the Bones. Okay, we're scoring. Yeah, I lost. Well, we still score. So how scoring works is we're going to score points based on the number of victory little tokens we have here. On our cards, some of them have a little shield that have a number in them. So you'll score points based on that. And lastly, the development card things that we got, um, some of them at the bottom of that also has shield points. Which I totally could have bought things on that last turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't, I don't think I <sighs> All right. Twitch is good. Kim Possible is stitch in time, yes. Derek, how much you get? 23. Megan. 31. 
You win. I got 29. Yes. So that uh, extra three there at the end made a huge difference for you. Huge difference for me. You can double count real quick to make sure. One, two, three, okay. four, five, six. Okay. I really love the Haunted Mansion 11, 12, movie. 15, 14, 15, so please don't 16, judge me. 19, 20, I have it on DVD. The Haunted Mansion movie is great. It's a good movie. It is. <laughs> I really like that movie. Are people saying that it's not? No, somebody somebody just put it in there, so I was just saying that that is actually a movie that I like and have watched many times because I actually really like that movie. Do I want the Guillermo del Toro Haunted Mansion that he's been yes. trying to make? Yes, I do want that. However, Eddie Murphy is, is still great. It was scary. I mean, there toward the end when, you know, he got pulled the into butler, the fires of hell. The so. guy whose name I can never remember was so good in that movie. As the butler? Yeah. Yeah. The woman in the crystal ball was great. Yes. Eddie Murphy was meh, like always. I thought Eddie Murphy was great. <laughs> but I really loved... Spoilers. <laughs> and then, it's, it's been out long enough. <laughs> yeah, if you haven't seen Haunted Mansion, it's your own fault. It was out when I was a child. Um... So, shall we play At Evers and Evers Realty? You'll be happy for, for Evers, Evers and Evers. Evers. Uh, shall we play the uh, video for them again and come back and play one more round? We have to play the video again. It, like, give, it, give, like, it gives us we time, have so I know, much stuff but it's so up. I don't so... believe that it's necessary to play the video. We can continue talking about Disney movies. I think it's better if we play the video, so that way we can actually just get this all, all right, put together. Fine, play the video. Okay, you're in charge, Steven. Uh, hold on, our computer just decided to go weird. All right, well, I'm not playing it. Oh, okay. Centuries ago, a dying, wicked king pleaded for help from the druids of Gaia. When they refused, the king cast a curse on the Valley of Life, spreading blight and pestilence throughout the sacred land. In response, the Druid Council sent Druids into the valley. Blessed by Gaia herself, these Druids were tasked with restoring the Valley of Life to its former glory. Welcome to Mystic Veil. Vale. Mystic Veil vale is a card crafting game for two to four players from ABG. Players will take on the role of Druids trying to restore beauty and life to the dying Valley of Life. Will you be able to heal the decay and bring vibrance and prosperity back? Or will you attempt to heal too quickly and end up with a spoiled land? Let's find out in Mystic Veil. Vale. To start, each player will select a deck of 20 sleeved cards in the color of their choice. Shuffle them and place it face down in front of them. Now set up the commons. Take the level 1 advancement deck indicated with a singular white dot under the cost in the upper right hand corner. Shuffle them and remove the number of cards as indicated. In a 2 player game remove 12 random cards. In a 3 player game remove 15 random cards. And in a 4 player game remove 18 random cards. Place the deck face down and reveal three cards. Shuffle the level 2 advancement deck, indicated with the two white dots under the cost. Place it face down above the level 1 deck and reveal three random cards. Do the same for the level 3 advancement deck, indicated with three white dots under the cost. Separate the veil cards into level 1 and level 2 decks. Shuffle the level 1 deck, place it face down near the commons and reveal the top four cards. Do the same with the level 2 deck. Set the extra fertile soils in reach of all players. Place the indicated number of victory tokens in a pool. In a two-player game, there will be 23 tokens. In a three-player game, there will be 28 tokens. And in a four-player game, there will be 33 tokens. Determine the starting player by shuffling the number of mana tokens equal to the number of players. Making sure that the token with the starting symbol is included. And deal one to each player with the active side up. Players will turn the tokens over to the spent side, and the player with the starting symbol goes first. Now, you are ready to play. Players will start the game by creating their starting fields. Your field will have four locations, your deck, your field, your discard pile, and your on-deck card. Reveal the top card of your deck and place it face up on top. This is your on-deck card. Then place your on-deck card into your field and turn over a new card. Do this until you have two cursed lands in your field and one on deck. A player's turn 
pattern consists of four phases, planting, harvest, discard, and prep. During the planting phase, you must choose to either pass or push. If you choose to pass, skip directly to the harvest phase. If you decide to push, place your on-deck card into your field. Resolve any of the win played abilities on the card, then flip over the next card. If you reveal another decay symbol, you have spoiled. Your field will spoil when you have four decay symbols revealed. However, there are many advancement cards with growth symbols that will cancel a decay symbol out. If you spoil, you will move straight to your discard phase and flip your mana token to the active side. If you do not spoil, you can continue pushing or move on to the harvest phase. The harvest phase is where you count up your mana, spirit symbols, resolve harvest abilities in your field, score victory tokens, buy veil cards, and buy advancements. These can be done in any order. Let's take a closer look at the cards. Advancement cards will always have the title, the cost in the top right corner, and the level pips below it. Some cards will have abilities. These will either be listed at the bottom of the picture or down the side of the card. If they are listed at the bottom, they will always be visible, so they will always be active. If it is down the side of it, whichever ability is on top is the active ability. Victory points can be located in two different locations, either in the top left corner, these will be collected during the harvest phase, or the bottom right corner. These are collected at the end of the game. There are four different types of symbols that can be present on a card. Mana symbols will be located on the left side of the card. Spirit symbols will be located at the left side of the card. Decay symbols will also be located at the left side of the card. Finally, guardian symbols will be located in the bottom left corner of the picture. symbol cost in the upper right hand corner, the level in the lower left hand corner, its ability at the bottom, and its victory point worth in the bottom right hand corner. First you should resolve any harvest abilities listed on your cards and score any victory points in your field. The victory points will come from the blue symbol on the left of the card, not the gray symbol on the right of the card. If you have victory points to collect, take that number of tokens from the pool. In order to buy advancement cards, you have to have mana points to spend. Simply count up the number of mana symbols in your field, including those given to you by harvest abilities. Your on-deck card does not count. For example, in my starting field, I have two mana symbols. So I have two mana to spend in the commons or on fertile soils. Once you've counted up your mana, you can spend it on advancement cards or fertile soils. You can buy up to two advancement cards during your turn. Your leftover mana will not carry over to the next harvest phase. However, if your mana token is active and you choose not to use your extra mana, that will stay active until you use it. Veil cards can be bought with spirit symbols. Count up the number and type of spirit symbols in your field. There are four different types of symbols. Animal, Forest, Sky, and Wild. If a Veil card has a Rainbow Wild Spirit, you can use any symbol for that symbol. Veil cards cannot be used on the same turn that they are bought. At the start of the discard phase, sleep all newly acquired advancements by sliding them into the sleeve of the card in your field. Keep in mind that you cannot cover an already present advancement, but you can cover an ability that runs the length card. Then, discard all cards in your field face down. Do not discard your on-deck card. Now replenish any Veil and Common cards you bought. If you run out of level 1 advancements, replace the empty spaces with level 2s, and likewise, if you run out of level 2 advancements, replace them with level 3s. The prep phase can be done at different times. To make the game go faster, you can begin your prep phase at the end of your turn, while the next player takes their turn. You can also choose to wait until the player has completely finished their prep phase before the next player takes their turn. The prep phase is done exactly how your starting field was. 
However, you may now have cards that have a win played ability. If you have a card with a win played ability, it must be done when the card is placed into the field. Keep playing cards until you have three decay symbols showing. It is possible now to have more than one decay symbol on a card. If you were to have two decay symbols in your field, and you drew a card with two decay symbols on it, that would give you four decay symbols and you would immediately spoil. The end game is triggered when the victory tokens in the pool run out. Finish the round and begin scoring. If players gain tokens after the pool has run out, take them from the leftover tokens in the box. You score points in three ways. Tokens, gray victory point symbols on advancements, and victory point symbols on the veil cards. Add up the total number of points on all cards and tokens. Whoever has the most points is the winner. If there is a tie, the player with the most combined level 3 advancements and level 2 veil cards is the winner. If there is still a tie, players share the win. And that's Mystic Veil. <laughs> Lean Raw, you're amazing. She got me the title of the song I was looking for. It's the trail we blaze from El Dorado. Go listen to it now. <laughs> he was listening and dancing because it's Eric. Hey Alexa, play the trail we blaze from Elton John. Yeah. I feel like she's gonna go, sorry. <laughs> Can't stream that for you right now. <laughs> no! On a trail to play. Three. If there is someone in chat that isn't excited for Rocket Man with Taron Edgerton as Elton John, you should be slapped. The closest person go to their home and slap. Them. Not this time, suckers. <laughs> hey Google, play Baby Shark. No, Elton John. I just hope I get somebody sometime. You've gotten L dot before. Oh yeah. Okay, oh who gave me this? You won. Yay. Oh, we're starting again. Yes, that's what we do here. I was letting them know. Oh, and Megan had something to say about live action Disney movies. Yes. Pirates Caribbean, Curse of the Black Pearl. Yeah, that's the choice. I mean, I don't know what else you would choose. <laughs> what? <laughs> Disney did not make Empire Strikes Back Gormeyer. Good try. That's awesome. Did they say that she's ageless? That's amazing. <laughs> Three. The bat is sore. Ah. Chicken Marengo. Listening to Cher. Have you ever tried peanut butter? What? Cause I did and now it's stuck inside the top of my mouth and I can't see well. <laughs> uh. I don't know, Derek now has me when every time Thank You Next comes on the radio all I hear is Bacon Eggs. Bacon Eggs. Bacon Eggs. Yup. It's my turn. If anybody is new out there, we're in a board game house. We get, <laughs> you for we get... sharing. <laughs> <coughs> uh. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, <laughs> if anybody is joining us and they're new, we are board game house. We're a group of friends living in a duplex uh, that like to play board games for you guys. Uh, welcome. Thank you for joining us. If you're enjoying the content, please hit that purple heart up above us. We're trying to get to our goal of 250 followers by the end of the month. 
Uh, you can help us get there. The month just started today, though, so we got plenty of time. Plenty of time. We love all of our friends. We have a very helpful, friendly community called the Neighborhood. You are more than welcome to follow and that join is that what community. Most people call their community. Well, that we're being very accurate. We have a an online one. Um, but yeah, an online one. We love you guys. They're on the interwebs. We love you guys. You guys are awesome. Uh, you can find us on all of our socials, on our Discord. So, yeah, join us. Megan, it's just. Thank you to us. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Alright. Yeah. Whole lot of nothing going on. Whole lot of nothing going on. I just had a mild heart attack. <laughs> One of our screens went blank. It's fine. Uh, I'm going to take it <laughs> to fertile soil. Oh, yay! Oh, it's okay, I'll die. I, I don't think you oh, missed wait. anything. You were the one you were the one that asked the question. About why um what live action Disney movie? Oh. My answer is Pirates of the Caribbean Curse of the Black Pearl. Specifically. First. First. Yep. Not a big fan of the second. What? Not a big fan of the second one. Uh, Derek, it is your turn, sir. What? <gasps> what the? Oh, oh Miss Valley! One thousand. Thank you, Miss Valley. Where did you? Where did you get so many bits? Thank you for the bits. You rock. That's me making heart with my hands. Heart with my hands. Shower Miss Valley with some love. Love, 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 love. All the hearts. Or any other special ones that you may have? Guardians of the Galaxy? Uh, you know what? I kind of forgot no, the Marvel movies. The Marvel movies. movies don't count as live action Disney movies because they're Marvel movies. Disney owns Marvel and Marvel Studios made the movies. I would agree with that. And I stand by it. Way to take a stand for something. I would like a bottom fertile soil. Star Wars, same thing. Luke, they bought Lucasfilm, and Lucasfilm is run by different people. It's owned by Disney, but it's run by different people. It's my turn. Three. Three. Not two, not four. But three. You go too far, you come too far. I don't think I don't think it was disappointing. It's just it's it's gonna be hard. Where am I trying to do uh, Hamilton for any of those movies to live up to the anime? I it was still good, but none of them are gonna be as good as the animated. Well, the plans close to my chest. Wait for it, wait for it. Oh, I loved the live action Beauty and the Beast. I actually haven't disliked any of the live action Disney movies, so. What other one did they do? Cinderella. Oh. Jungle Book. Jungle Book was so good. Cinderella. I thought Cinderella was interesting because I felt like it told a story that the animated one didn't really tell. I felt like it was different. Whereas Beauty and the Beast was essentially the same. I loved Emma Watson as Belle. I don't like what they did to her voice because nobody is going to tell me that she needed that much auto-tuning because nobody needs that much terrible auto-tuning. There was no reason for her to voice for her voice to sound like that. But Dan Stevens sounded amazing. And I just want okay, so here's my my <laughs> claim to fame. When they announced Beauty, that they were doing the live action Beauty and the Beast, of course I freaked out, obviously. But the very first thing I said about casting mm -hmm. 
was if they don't cast Josh Gad as LeFou, they're wrong. Mm-hmm. So I was so excited when they well, one of, when you said announced that, that one of my was top LeFou. things was getting Ian McKellen to do to be one of the the things, and he was Cogsworth, and he was he was great, the best one. Ewan McGregor, don't get me wrong, was great, but his French accent was kind of weird. Well, the whole thing is a little bit weird. They're in France. Bella has a British accent. They all have a br- <laughs> wait. Everybody has a British accent no. except for Lumiere. Two and, please, like, or the bottom. I'm sorry. Actually, no. No, most have an American accent. They all have an American accent. Bella doesn't have an American. Bella doesn't have a British accent. Yes, she does. It's Emma it's Watson. Emma Watson. It's I'm just talking her about voice. the original. No, the original. She has American accent. Yes, she has American accent because it's uh, yeah. Paige. Okay, Josh Grad oh, is yeah. a treasure. Davis? But they're talking. Yeah. He's he is producing a live action Hunchback of Notre Dame, and they're talking about Josh Gad as Hunchback as as Quasimodo, no. and I just don't know how I feel. about I think it's interesting, but I don't think it's right. No, 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 no. no. Idris Alba is also making a Hunchback of Notre Dame for Netflix, and he's gonna be Quasimodo again. And I think that's no. weird. <laughs> I got two. Okay, don't say oop. Idris Elba is great in everything. I love Idris Elba. Nope. Can't put it there. You're right. I can't put it there. Thank you. You're welcome. Gormeyer, stop it. It's different. (laughs) (laughs) I feel like Derek's like legit getting like offended. I am. But let's talk about Black Panther because... (sighs) So good. It is my favorite Marvel movie now, so... Derek, it is your turn, sir. You haven't seen Black Panther yet? Go to Netflix now! We, like, wait until after the stream, but then go. We're almost done here! No, we're not! (laughs) Felix! Yes, go watch Black Panther! It's so good. You have internet back. Congratulations. It's so good. Welcome back to the it light It was movies. the end of the month. <laughs> nah, Black Panther, like, here's, here is the way that I decide my movies. If I can watch it again, and I'm just as excited about the movie, I went it's over the, Fertile soil. the second Which time. Bottom. Last bottom. Um... That's what I call a really good movie, and that's I have not watched had I have not watched Black Panther and thought, oh, maybe this wasn't as good as I thought it was whenever I was in the movie, in the theater. I've loved it every time. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two is one of those for me. Watching it in the theater, I thought it was great, but trying to watch it again, it is not as good as the first time. I've only seen it once, and it was on the train. Oh, the first Guardians was very <laughs> good. First Guardians was very good. Honestly, I just on I think that the storyline that they chose for Guardians of the Galaxy two was wrong. I just thought it was wrong. Kurt Russell was fine, but I just thought that they could have done something better. Um, I'll tell you what movie that I didn't like that everybody was like, "Oh my gosh, it's so good." I did not like Thor Ragnarok. I just didn't. I thought it was too campy. I thought it was good for what it was, but it. it it's it's definitely the four the black duck the goose it's like the odd duck it's it's the odd, the odd one duck out. it doesn't like the a redheaded stepchild yeah it just doesn't fit in with the rest of the movies and i understand why they did it they wanted it to be a lighter movie right in the middle of a bunch of really depressing ones yeah. leading up to but infinity it, war but it just i don't know it was too funny four you can actually be chiming in on this because you've actually seen all of them. So this is actually a conversation you could actually chime in on for once. Like, I thought Taika Waititi did an amazing job. Korg was so good. But Loki, what they wrote for Tom Hiddleston was just wrong. It was bad. It just wasn't Loki. It was not good. I'm going to push because I've gotten all these girl soils in a row and I just don't care anymore. This episode of the Friday Club. 
All right, I, I, uh, I, uh, spoiled. Hmm. I don't know, I just, I'm glad that somebody else didn't like it, because I just wasn't a huge fan of it. Everybody was talking about how it was, like, Bush. the best Marvel movie, and it just didn't, didn't care for it. Push. Okay, give me a little. Avatar was a retelling of Pocahontas, Fern Gully, and like two other movies. And let's talk about that for a minute. How are you gonna make four more of those bitches? Four more? <laughs> Do we need four more? No, we don't. Three. You can talk. I know I can talk. <laughs> I have the ability. You're just choosing not to? Sure. They already shot the next two. They James Cameron is done filming the next two Avatar movies to come out in 2021 and 2024. Or 2020. He has them planned out through like 2030, and I don't get it. Why do we need all that? He's going to be in post for the rest of his life. Of course. I, the one thing, I, I can't get anything with it. But I have one, two, three, four, five, six if I want them. Yes. Uh, I think there is one coming Netflix out. Netflix is doing an Avatar, a live-action Avatar. I don't know. I think it's going to be a series, a, a mini-series. Mm -hmm. I really liked Avatar when it first came out, though. I mean, and, the and first one. I, and it, well, I mean, I thought it was good. And I'm honestly, this four. It's one of the only movies that I will consistently well. watch in 3D because it's incredible what James Cameron was able to do with his digital 3D. Like he invented that shit. With and his it, what? Excuse me. It's a like it was so good. But the movie on its own is just meh. Do you kiss your mother that much? On this shirt. Sure, Live action Sonic the Hedgehog. What? That yep. sounds like a like that. Ben honestly, Schwartz. Ben Schwartz is Sonic. I love Ben Schwartz, but that sounds like. No, you can keep going because if you spoil, nightmare fuel. You get rid of that. You you will you you discard the next card that comes up when it comes up. But you don't actually Honestly, you would not flip over the next one. So okay, so I will I will see Detective Pikachu, but I still you think it's going to be terrible. <gasps> next time, next time I put it out, you can discard it's going to have that. to do there a lot to stop. convince me that it's you not too, terrible. Though. Did you see the last it trailer? Looked, I haven't seen the last trailer, but that first, Bro, but that you first too trailer explodes through a sign. Keep going. One two. Three, Bro. Five. Oh, I use that. Bro. I don't know if you're making fun of me. Wait. Can confirm. Sonic has human legs? We've got a whole human body going on. I mean, I guess technically in the game he had human legs. Detective Pikachu is going to be beautiful. I'm sorry. I just, I don't know. It's going to have to convince me. It just looks real bad to me. That's true. That's true. They did. They did do that. They did. If anybody's new out there, we're Board Game House. Tonight we're talking about <laughs> movies and, uh. Apparently. Playing a game. We have those nights. It's okay. I didn't say they don't. They're just playing what's going on. If you're new, you're joining the content, feel free to jump in the chat, say hello. We're a very friendly, helpful community. We will welcome with open arms. Cute. Uh, if you're enjoying the content, please think about hitting that heart button to follow the channel, let you know when we're going live. We stream three days a week, Mondays and Fridays. We play normal board games like this one here, which is Mystic Veil by AEG. Really fun uh, card building, drafting type game. Uh, yeah, and on Wednesdays we play Legacy Games. Right now we're playing uh, Betrayal Legacy, which is fantastic. It's a card crafting game is actually what it is. Okay. Uh, and we're then playing D&D on the other weeks. This is the first time we've talked in half an hour. Don't 
Three. Three. I've never seen the room, and at this point, with all the hype that was about the the one with the the sh like shot for shot remake, I have no desire to see it. Hold on, I'm so. confused. Are we talking about the room or room? The room. Which one was that? That's the one that the guy that I don't like. Hothead. What's his name? Yeah. Friends with the other guy. The other guy I don't like. They have a stupid Rogen. laugh. What? The guy that's friends with Seth Rogen. James Franco. Yes. James Franco, the one that James the James they did the. The remake about the really horrible movie. Oh, boo. Yeah. I just can't. I I don't know. I just don't have any desire to. And that's the kind of, I, I feel like that's the way I would be, Eldot. I just... I despise James Franco. Yay! I despise him. That's why I don't think I can watch it. Fine. Leave us cat scales. She's going to watch Black Panther. No, I think she's actually going. Bye, Catskills! Bye. Have a good night. Okay, is it my turn? No, I... It's my turn. Yes, it is your turn. I do not like James Franco. I think he's terrible. I don't think he's a good actor. It's my personal opinion, though. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel. Okay. Okay. Yeah, also. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Yeah. Things <laughs> the way my mind works. <laughs> Talking about James Franco. What's another person? What's another Hollywood actor I don't like? Hmm. What are Kristen Stewart's doing? <laughs> She's gonna be in the next Charlie's Angels movie. What? Why are they making another one? Elizabeth Banks is directing. It, look, it, I have. They haven't even released a trailer. They, there's been no behind-the-scenes footage. I just saw the three girls that Jay chose to be in it, and it just looks so bad. Who did they choose other than Kristen Stewart? I don't know who the other two women are, and that's the thing. It, and that they and they look like teenagers. They look like children. Charlie's Angels can't be children. It's not the Powerpuff Girls. I'm sorry, Elizabeth Banks. I need to know. Hard pass. Yeah, hard pass. pass. One, two, three, four, five, six to spin. Powerpuff. Sugar. Spice. And everything nice. And everything. Megan. These are the ingredients. The perfect little girl. The power pop goes Can I reward. have a top, a middle? I like to totally spice. And another top. You can only get two. Oh. Is there any reason why you chose to do? Because there's nothing on the board that I want. Okay, so you have. I'm guessing Naomi Scott's one of the people. Okay. Naomi Scott, wasn't she? She was in something. She she's is Jasmine. Jasmine. She's Kim. She's in. Yeah, she's in a lot of. She's but like, it's not the. It's not the woman from. She's not. Um, in, from Pirates of the Caribbean. No. no. I mean, Kristen Stewart and the third female. I don't. Maybe. Maybe her. Ella. I don't know, man. But it has. Kelly. Both of them came out at the same. It time. has Patrick Stewart in it. Patrick Stewart. Yeah. I don't know. I'm uh, not as a, code name kids next wait door. Wait a minute, it's Charlie. Wait a minute. They have like one, two, three different people playing Bosley. Maybe it's more of a modern telling than Charlie's Angels where it's an actual organization and there's multiple people who are uh, attendees for the Angels. Alright, is it my turn? No. I loved Codename Kids Next Door. I loved Courage the Cowardly Dog. I loved Dexter's Laboratory. I didn't watch Samurai Jack. I just don't put 
Dexter's Lab and Courage the Cowardly Dog and Samurai Jack in the same category. I think Samurai Jack and Courage the Cowardly Dog sort of fit together for me, but Dexter's Lab is much different. I put Dexter's Lab and Johnny Bravo together. Alright. My turn! I think they were just on the Cartoon Network. Hmm. Cartoon Network. Has never and will never do anything better than uh, than Adventure Time. So cartoon, cartoon. <laughs> oh, I loved Earthworm Jim. I had the toys. I had a comic book. I watched it all the time. It was so good. And I liked the Tick, but I did not like the new Amazon Tick. I thought it was too. Tiki? Danny it wasn't was amazing. funny. Yeah. <laughs> cartoon, cartoon. That Nick, 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 Nickelodeon. Angry Beavers is great. Cat Dog great show. does not hold up. Go back and watch Cat Dog. It is not as as good as you think it was. Rugrats holds up. Recess. I loved Recess. The Recess movie was great. I loved Recess. I watched it all the time. I watched it on one Saturday morning. One Saturday oh, morning. Rocket Power was so good. Okay. Rocket Power was so good. I loved Rocket Power. I loved Fairly Odd Parents when it first came out. No, I hate Fairly Odd Parents. Fairly Odd Parents, the Wild Thornberries. Loved the Wild Thornberries. Ah, Real Monsters. Yes, I loved Ah, Real Monsters. I wouldn't let myself watch Ah, Real Monsters. I didn't think it was entertaining, and it grossed me out. It had moments. It had its moments. Doug, it. I liked, okay, so I was in Doug that weird, like, middle, shit. that middle ground where I liked both of the incarnation, in, in, car, incarnation, incarnations of Doug, but Steven has a very different view. There was two versions of Doug? Yes. There was a Nickelodeon version, and then there was the Disney version. At the same time? No. no. It, Disney bought out, did, bought the rights for Doug. Did Disney do the movie? Yes. Mm, no. No. Whoever did the movie did it right. Nickelodeon. I'm not done. Oh, you were done. I have just okay, flipped well, these cards over. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave those out then. I had Rugrat, the Rugrats I'm gonna push movie, and gigs on VHS, and the orange, Spoil. the orange VHS. Yes. Okay, now your turn. I, I loved had, Ned's Declassified. I had um, uh, six. The Rosie O'Donnell and the girl in the yellow trench coat. That's. Harriet the Spy. Harriet the Spy. I had that on orange tape. Clarissa explains it all. Yes. Ooh, I think I was okay. I was too young for Clarissa explains it all. Her yeah, friend Sam I sneaking into her. Too, but I was too I old was, for Ned's Declassified. I was on the brink of or maybe not too old. I just Clarissa and it. Alex Mack. I watched the Amanda Show. I watched all that. The lobsters were great. <laughs> All that this is all that Miss Valley, I agree with you. Oh, oh, what? Oh. My turn. It's a bit of I loved Drake and Josh. I don't know. I just thought I thought Drake and Josh were funnier Four. off of their show. When they were in other things, I thought they were funnier than when they were on their Someone actual show. Once told me the grass is much greener. Oh, I remember that show. On the other side. I loved As Told by Ginger. Proud yeah. Family. I'm gonna buy two of I these. Don't remember, I love Proud Family. I don't remember any episodes of the Proud Family, but I, I remember that was one of the shows where I like I absorbed the the lesson you were supposed to learn. Uh -huh. More from the Proud Family than almost any other the show. The Proud Family. What? You and me are the only two family of the two of their lives. 
acting like a fool. Maybe. Oh, I used to know it. Hey Arnold still holds up. For the record, uh, there's a channel. I'm gonna push. Uh, it's like Nicktoons or something like pushing? that. Definitely. I thought I had to go until I. You already no. clipped it over though. Well, whatever, I spoil them. Late at night. Like late, late at night, they play uh, Hey Arnold and Rugrats. Street Shark. Oh, I had all the Street Sharks. I still do. At my parents' uh, house, I still have the big, uh, the big like ten-inch Street actually. Sharks figures that actually had their roller skates on. Oh no! Anybody remember at Pizza Hut? They had like the little plastic hand puppets that like were really hard plastic and didn't actually do anything. I don't know what that is. I remember when Burger King had those puppets alive. for Dinosaur. I remember the Little Mermaid animated series. Mm -hmm. And I watched well, Lilo I and Stitch. Three. I did not like the Lilo and Stitch animated series because I didn't like the pink Stitch. I didn't like her. They were... um, I oh, that was, that was a lot later in the series. Um, oh, well, then I guess I watched it until then and I stopped. Das Yeti just, honestly, nostalgia yeah. boner. Sherlock Holmes in the 22nd century. If you didn't watch Sherlock Holmes in the 22nd century, one, you can't find it. And two, he was frozen in ice for thousands of years. It's amazing. Dragon Tales. Oh my gosh. Uh, anyone remember David the Gnome? Nope. Is that what the trolls are from? Nope. Nope. I remember David the Gnome. Wishbone. I loved Wishbone. Wishbone. However, there was one episode of Wishbone that I couldn't watch because it gave me nightmares. Which one? It was the Halloween episode, the Sleepy Hollow one. Mm -hmm. Loved it. My favorite episode of Wishbone, the Don Quixote episode. I liked the oh Joan of Arc one. So good. Just, just him in the little costumes. <laughs> just him in the little costumes. Actually, I'm pretty sure... Yes, I had one of the main ways that I learned about the Odyssey was through yeah, a, was a computer game, mm -hmm. and it was a Wishbone computer game. That brings back memories. I used to play that all the time. One, two, three, four, five, I never six, watched I Carmen San Diego. I played rooms. Carmen San Diego. They're the same. I mean, why not? Specifically, yeah. where in time? Because I didn't really like where in the world. Where in the world is Sherlock Holmes of the 22nd century came on right after Carmen San Diego. Mm -hmm. You had to watch Carmen San Diego to get to Sherlock Holmes. I didn't watch Carmen San Diego. I remember Carmen San Diego the cartoon. I also remember Carmen San Diego the game. Yeah, I had the game. No, no, no. Like, there was actually the game a show. game show. Oh, game I had show. the computer. San Diego. See, that's not the thing. That's a rip off of the actual thing. I'm just saying. It was a good game. I got to use the printing press. I loved Phil of the Future so much. Yeah, Phil of the Future was a good show. Also, we were talking about Disney movies, like DCOMs. Does anybody remember the one where the the stepdad and Can sister, oh, like stepsister from Planet Weird, where they turn into the bubbles? <laughs> I don't get this now, right? No. Mm -hmm. Well, I get one. Mm -hmm. At the end of the game. Oh, I thought I got it now. Did you just get... No, this one I've had. Oh, yes. I get one You get one token. for this, yes. Right, and then yes, I just yes, put yes, this yes. in there. Yes, yes. <sighs> uh, wait. You talk about space, you gotta talk about Xenon Girl of the 21st Century, or whatever it was? Space Explorer. What was that? What was the show? Xenon Girl of the 21st Century. Was it the name of it? Yeah, but yeah. Xenon didn't have a living ship. The hell? The Mighty Ducks cartoon where they were actually ducks and they were badass was good. I didn't like the movie where they were kids playing hockey. Nine? 
Nine? Yes. Go ahead and push. Gormai, the only thing I can think about Six. is Lost in Space. I know that's not what you're talking about, but that's all that I can, that's all that's in my head right now. You shouldn't rewrite history. It's irresponsible. Oh, Digimon. I would kill someone for Digimon. We've Digimon talked about it on a here. Science guy. But Digimon, Digimon the movie was amazing. Even if you didn't watch the show, Digimon the movie is incredible. I even like I even like the second version of the show when they got like the new Digimon and they tried to be too much like Pokemon. I loved it. I thought it was great. Uh, you may look at your on-deck card. I do not want to discard it, so I'm going to keep going. That's my next second one because I have that. I was not a Digimon person. I was a Pokemon person. And then if you That's watch Digimon, so Yu-Gi-Oh came on right after, and I watched it, but I could never get so into it. It was it wasn't my it wasn't my niche. I didn't I I couldn't get it. It's the future I can see. Fun facts about that so Raven, Annalise Vanderpool is actually my favorite uh, Broadway Belle. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. There is an incredible video of her singing a change in me, and it is so good. Eldot, that doesn't surprise me. You look like the Yu-Gi-Oh guy. <laughs> um, I'm gonna buy this uh mate. Wasn't into Yu-Gi-Oh either. I tried to be I tried so hard and I just couldn't. Um what else? What else? Schoolhouse Rock. I only really watched that in elementary school when they played it for us. Yeah. I never watched it at home. And the, I, I only remember really two of them. What about the Magic School Bus? Conjunction, oh. junction, junction, Magic School Bus was my shit. Your function, look it up words, uh, I'm and pushing. Pauses. Okay, keep going, you need to stop and this. I'm just a bit of Sitting here on Capitol Hill. Gargoyles, yes. Gargoyles, oh my god, you're hitting me with all this stuff. Batman Beyond, ugh! Spider Man, uh, Ultimate Spider Man, where they were in the future. Ugh. I was still very much born in that generation of comic book stuff as yeah, for boys. So I didn't really get into it until, like, recently. Do it again. Okay, now I'm gonna stop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, sorry. What about Rocco's Modern Life? Anybody? Oh, yeah. Anybody? Rocco's Modern Life. Rocco's Modern Life. Yeah, we're on stuff that I didn't watch. Or wasn't allowed to watch because it annoyed my parents. <laughs> uh, Captain Planet? Yeah. Captain Planet, he's a hero. Uh. Gonna take pollution down to zero. Don't get mad at me. Captain Planet wasn't on when I was a kid. I watched reruns of Captain Planet. Stargate. Don't get me started. I finished SG-1. I'm in the middle of Atlantis now. You made Dossietti watch some rewatch something earlier. Oh, yeah. I, uh, I posted a thing about trees because we're playing this. Trees! And it was uh, the Don Cheadle as Captain Planet. Mm -hmm. And so he had to go back and watch the Funny or Die skit. Uh, and then I have two left over, so I'm gonna grab this one. Da, da, da. The Twilight Zone. 
Ooh! Okay, so did anybody watch, like, the, like, ABC Family, not ABC Family, but, like, Disney, like, the Family Disney Night that they did on, like, Friday nights? Mm -hmm. So. Hall Tower of Terror. That movie. Wait, now, I want to see who's old like me. Or grew up the way I grew up. When I was growing up, the Disney Channel was actually like an extra, like almost like an HBO type channel. And about once every six months, they would do a Disney, like a free weekend where they would unlock the channel. And so like you like, you have to watch it the whole time. And they like, on that Friday night, they would play like an actual Disney movie on TV without commercial interruptions. Das, Stargate for me, no question. I think that the practical effects Jeez. that they used for the aliens on Farscape, okay. it was, it's not. Oh, that when it cancels that, that cancels that. I don't like it as much. And then this cancels everything. Here. The librarians, when they brought it back gotcha. to sci-fi or One, two, three, was, wherever four, they five, brought six, it, seven, brought the librarians eight, back, I went back and I watched some of the librarian movies. I, <laughs> that was good stuff. So you couldn't actually good that cancel it. stuff. Could get that and that cancels it out. That is. You're welcome. That's a that's a good plan. You shouldn't have said anything. I don't like it. Hey, I like strategy. <laughs> like, that's my problem. That's an eight. If we get something else, but ooh, I could get the pod wings. Let's get the pod wings. So I can put that in here. Alright, hang on. Hold up. I have stuff, but I can spend it. No, we just got two more sons that you did not have. Two more sons? Yes. Okay. So you have, have a son and a bear claw. Son and a bear claw. So I'm going to take this bear claw. That was Victor Holmes band. Okay. Uh, I'm going to We didn't listen to Radio Disney, but we bought the the Disney CDs that you could buy that just had a whole bunch of the songs classics, from the movies, Four, like five, the green uh, yeah. and purple. Uh -huh. Yeah, we had we had the green one. We had we had all of them. We still have all of them. I also six. have a villain CD somewhere from like Burger King or something. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take this puppy. I take this one. Taking that, but I have two bear claws and uh, and a, and a plant, so I don't need. Uh, so I'm gonna take this guy. I saw Scooby Doo up there when I was little. Actually, Scooby Doo um, gave me nightmares. Oh crap! I had two more. Well, that's a, pay that's a child. Crap. Okay. So. Next time. Oh, I gotta put in one of these. You know what? Who else is say that's the weekend besides me? Fast food places gave out better toys when we were younger. Oh yeah, oh they for sure. spent a lot more money on toys when we were younger. My parents used to get so mad because I had so many little McDonald's toys, mm -hmm. and they would buy me toys, but I would still play with my McDonald's toys. Does anybody? I keep seeing this one floating around on Facebook. The um, um, the plates, the Hercules plates. I had all those Hercules plates. I wore them out. I only had one. Yeah, they did scrape off pretty easily. Like, no, they didn't. I just used them every single day. Yeah, like mine's still in good condition. I think we still it's have the Pegasus it. one. Um, I'm going to the ones that scraped off push. easily were actually the um the gla the cups. Push again. And so I spoiled, but I'm going to discard this. Did you spoil? Did you spoil? Oh, oh yes. Yeah, okay. yes. <laughs> I so I'm discarding that for okay. green tree. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The dog collection. I had a big black lab one.
A lot of points, but nothing that I remember stacks. very specifically yeah. that my friends got really mad at me because I had... I wore my Black Lab, the dog shirt. You know, with, like, the big head. Yeah. That's after my time. Uh, big dog? Not big dog. No, it was the dog. They got mad at me because I wore my shirt, and you know, middle school Megan didn't think of anything else outside of her bubble. Um, my friend's black lab had just ran away like a few days before. Oof. And I wore it, and they got so mad at me, and I felt so bad. Remember Garbage Pal Kids? I remember Pound Puppies. I never had any. My cousins did. Pound Puppies. The thing you don't think about is most of those dogs probably got euthanized. Oh. Childhood ruined. You're welcome. Sorry. Way to go. Um, Does anybody else remember Niner. like the the pound puppies, like dogs that had like the puppies like inside of them, like you? They had like Velcro. Which one you go with? Uh, I had Echo the game. I did not know how to play it. Go. me today. Here. There you go. I don't know what's wrong with me. No. Ah. Okay. Yes, the one that had, oh yes, the, oh, shit. okay, but does anybody remember the controversy with the pregnant Barbie doll? Discarding that because of this. She didn't have, she have a wedding she didn't have, I was waiting for them to say. Oh. I'm still at zero. Crewing. Crewing it. Street Sharks, stop bringing it up. I love them too much. Yes, I remember the Barbie with the baby. And my family loved Beanie Babies. Like, my mom thought they were um, going to be worth so okay. much money. Jeez! Hold on, because I'm still at zero, technically. Yep. Because I have two trees and two, so there's one. There's two. two. Okay, well, you can buy anything you want. Hold on, i got to figure out how much I yes. have. Yes! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Like, my mom got the pretty nine, nine, and a Beanie 10, Baby. 11, 12, she kept Beanie Babies 13, in 14, boxes. 15, 16, 17. She still has some Beanie 17. Babies in boxes. Because of that 17? card. 17? 17. You can only buy two things. Nope, I can buy three things because I have this card. Sure does. But first, I want to spend all of I this. can't remember what their names were, too, but I had one of them. Okay, so... I have. I can't remember the original table. Okay, so I have enough. Let's see. I have one, two, three. Hey, I love pop piles. I have four. I don't collect them for claws. money. I just like them. I have four claws, oh, three uh, leaves, oh, and one sign. Speaking of which, if anyone's going to Emerald City Comic Con, wink, 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 and wants to get me the uh, hyena pop vinyls from the Lion King. Please do. Is that an exclusive? Emerald City Comic Con exclusive. I don't know if it's, it might be on sale after, but they're going on sale at Emerald City. Okay. okay, and now I have 17 to spend. Which one? We have a lot. 
I don't remember how many. Butch. Butch. So there's nine. So I still have eight more to spend. When I got cast as Belle, the pop finals are crazy. When I got cast as Belle, I looked for the original Belle pop final. That thing is going for like two hundred dollars. Yeah. Stupid. Oh no! In the bathtub. I had a purple one, well, like the purple see-through ones. I don't think it was a Game Boy Color though. I think it was a regular Game Boy. I had a Rugrats game. I had. And Pokemon. My. That was it. I'm trying to think. I don't think I had one of the brick Game Boys. You mean personified? I had the game. wide one. I had the flip one. Maybe my no, mine wasn't a flip one. Mine was the purple Game Boy Advanced. That was a I big one. That was a very no, successful was round. It was like for this. Me. The Game Boy Color was like this. But it was mine the Game was Boy color. Advance was the white. I don't think mine was color. All right. <laughs> Maybe it was color. Two. I just know that I had the thing that you clipped onto it, so the light. Uh, I that's I had the original one that was just green. And you had to light a light because there was no backlight to it. Hello from Ohio. Hello from West Virginia. <laughs> Why are you in? A oh, there she's at the competition. Yes, in Solon. Hello, welcome to the stream. We're talking about Disney movies and playing a game. But did I make that? Yes. Yeah, if there's anybody new, we are Board Game House. We actually are playing a game. We're playing Mystic Veil vale from AEG. It's a fantastically fun game. Um, we are uh, building up our decks, and we're trying to collect points to win the game. Uh, we're each playing a different druid. Uh, if you enjoy the content, please definitely... Hit that follow button! Yeah, do that. Please. The neighborhood is a lovely distraction. I will happily take the distraction. I'm assuming mine is the sun. They're the dawn bringers. There's a they have backstories. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, the, sorry, the dawn seekers. The light of the sun marks the passage of the seasons, and druids who venerate this process are known as dawn seekers. These, this circle of druids marks the calendar, preferring to make their homes amongst the plains and savannas where the sun is clearly seen throughout the day. Dawn singers rise early, hence their name. I should not be a part of this druid tribe. Uh, though some amongst their number prefer to remain awake until midnight to mark the end of another day. Ah, that's me. I'm, I'm, part, I'm part of that part of the dawn singers. Only two more times. Oops. Oh no. <laughs> Um, it's your turn. Yeah. Do you want to read your Beast Brothers? I'm the Beast Bros. Beast we got Bros. beasts. I'm going to watch them quick. <laughs> druids okay. belonging to the circle of animals are called Beast Brothers. These druids form lasting bonds with all forms of animal life. Beast Bros are often considered barbaric, preferring to layer in caves and dark forests. Beast Brothers honor and respect the ways of animals, including the nature of predator and prey. So that's interesting. Seven. I have seven. I have seven. Do I want to... My beasts are fantastic and they're wild. Who want to push? Do it. Yes. Actually, I'm going to push again. Because when I do this, I can go. Bye bye. Push it, push it to the very limit. Push it in to the very limit. I have eight now. You can also buy some of this. I can. Oh man, I lost so much money at the Goldenrod City Casino. Charmander was the best.
Bulbasaur just as it went on just slowly and slowly got fatter and more high. Like Venusaur at the end was just like Venusaur. And Squirtle had too much attitude. Charmander was, Squirtle, was Squirtle. in it for the win. I still want to be a part of the Squirtle, Squirtle Squad. Okay, I'm going to keep going. Hmm? Squirtle Squad. With the glasses? Yeah, with the glasses. I didn't like that they, they had... They were adorable. They had, like, cougar glasses. They were so cute. Also, I don't think my heart has ever broken more... In like a cartoon like that, whenever poor little Charmander is trying to keep his little tail oh, man. split. Poor buddy. Um, He's out in the rain. I'm going to just push because I can't really buy anything with three that I want. So I'm pushing. Spoil. <laughs> Spoil. Silver because I got Lugia early. Yeah, silver and gold were the best. A long time since oh, but my Butterfree is actually really sad too. But that was like a yeah. happier one. Two. This is another sick round for me. Sick. Another sick round. I'm gonna get through the rest of this. Gonna deck. have another sick round. I'm gonna get through the rest of this deck. Watch. Ooh, that was spicy. Pika. <laughs> That's not right. Pikachu. Rip ear, sorry. <laughs> Pikachu. Is that that I can't get though? That like she has like that grainy. All right. Well, I'm gonna push. The evolution. And I'm gonna continue to push. Continue to push. Continue to push. I always really liked Flareon. Are you going to continue to push? Um, I have to shuffle the rest of the end, so it's not a sure thing anymore. Mm -hmm. So, the I do crafted. have this, though, so I, I think I will. What? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Did anybody play Pokemon Snap? Yes. I loved Pokemon Snap. Uh, so. You keep going. And the next one that comes up, you can discard it. My parents even got into that one. Because the next one you would spoil, but because you have the Peacekeeper Druid, when the next one comes up, you can just discard it and not open another card. How do I already have three out here? Because you pushed because you knew that you were getting another one coming up. Right. So I get this one. Now you yes. can discard, just discard that one. There you go. Did anybody have Hey You Pikachu? Mm -hmm. I had that one. I really liked Hey You Pikachu. It didn't work very well. This is the discard. One, two, three, four, five, six. But it didn't seven, work very well. Eight, and I get two victory points. So don't feel bad. I didn't have Pokemon Pinball, but I had Pokemon Stadium, so you which eight. I wore the crap out of. So you can do calm. You can do the calm weather, which is up there for seven, or you can do like two fours if you wanted to. Do you like the wolf in the grasslands? Or the grass and the wayfair, or the wayfair and the wolf. I, did I didn't have the second one. I had Ooh. the original. Whoa. And I Grab played this. it yeah, like crazy. I don't really have. I mean, you you offer three. Me. I mean, I don't want that too. Oh hell, let me put over two. Megan! World we must defend. Pokemon! This is the best card. Mm -hmm. So that counts as nothing. Counts as nothing. You're welcome. Yeah, thanks. So you're at one. 
It's that sweet Pokemon board game. What board game? Isn't that just a card game? Actually, I never played the card game. Back to zero. But you know what happens every time I, I every time I've used it this this round. Every time, every game. It's two. Four, five, six. Seven. Seven. <laughs> get four victory points. I get four victory points. Four. Seven. 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 Call mother's up there. You play call mother on like that one, and it eliminates the curse land. All right, Madam Mommy. Break that fever. Break that fever. Sleep Thank in, you for stopping by. Sleep yes. in a hot shower. Feel better. What I like to do is boil some water, throw in a bunch of salt so it's steamy salt water, and then just put a blanket over my head and the pot. That's what I like to do. That's more for opening up like your sinuses and stuff. And your pores. But it also sets your fever in to start getting crazy. I don't know if that's a fact. I just. I hate doing that because do I don't like hot. Zero. Like on my face. I don't like doing it because it takes a lot of time and I could be doing other things. That's not why I don't. I just don't like having like heat on my face. <laughs> I don't. I don't think I would play the Pokemon RPG. I just don't think it would be entertaining. Pokemon. Gotta catch them all, Pokemon. Okay, so that one eliminates this. That is limited by this. That is limited by this. So I'm only at one right now in all those parts. So you did get through your entire thing. Another sick hand. I have mine. Sick hand. I have mine, and I've got two binders full. Women. Ooh. Mm -hmm. What? The Pokemon cards. Shiny Charizard? Um, holographic Charizard? Nice. Nice. So that's two. Are you gonna do your whole deck? This is three, so it's not. I'm pushing now. You're pushing, okay. Yeah. Just running out of the list. Uh -huh. You went through almost your entire deck. All but three cards. I need to go to the victory point. That's not true. Five victory points this time. Four victory points. Four victory points right there. One, two, three, four. All right. So first, I'm going to go through and dang do up all of my. But like at that point, do you sell it? I mean, I would. It's I just feel sitting like I in a closet sell it. somewhere. I'm too attached to things like that. Oh, this is worth a thousand dollars. Sell it. All right. So I have a I, of everything. I wouldn't even know where to go to sell it. So eBay. Two claws, that so two claws, two things. I don't have a second son. The second son is a mercenary group of Game of Thrones. Well, okay, then I guess I'm gonna go with this Fair one. Enough. Seven? Yeah. For the butt one? Yep. I'll take a butt. The butt leaf. Butt leaf. Play another one for me. A naked nymph, 100%, is about ready to pop out of that. And then I guess I'll take this one, because I can't play. Uh, right. That's the thing. Nostalgia and... So now... I get two... How many points do I have, though, is the question. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, Burger 12, King. 13, 
had toys 14, when you got a big Pokeball, and 16, in those 17, it had 18. the steel cards. The gold plated? Right, but in some of those you got stickers. I took the stickers off, put them onto cardboard, and cut it out, and then put them in the sleeves with the rest of my Pokemon cards. That's adorable. So those are worth pennies, pennies. on a dollar. All right. So I have 18 to spend. I'm going to buy this and this. It's crazy. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I have the Jigglypuff one of that. The sticker? No. Or the metal? The metal one. Oh, right. I have a Charizard. I think. I'm pretty sure. I have the, I think these all three are Cursed, Cursed lands. lands. So I'm probably just going to push right away and just get rid of it. Just get rid of it. Oh. You could use them to make other kids cry. Oh gosh! So I'm at two. Yeah, but you can still flip over the next card to see what it is. Yeah, I'm just making sure. That's awful. Little Pokemon. <laughs> Uh, one, two, three. I get three victory points. Wait, does it? Uh, and then two more. And I had a Tamagotchi. Not one of the ones that actually died if you didn't take care of it. But I did have a Tamagotchi. I also had a Furby. And the and I had a baby Furby too. They talk to each other in my toy box. It's creepy. <laughs> Seriously, I'm not even. I'm not even joking. I should have pushed. I should have pushed. You don't want anything out here for three. Yeah. I will take. I mean, you can put back the five victory points you've taken and still push. You haven't done anything. I'm pretty sure all Furbies were possessed. And then they tried to bring them back, and every, like, every 90s kid was like, why? Don't do that. Okay. I don't know. It's a toss up between Pikachu or Jigglypuff. You can move more if you want to. Pikachu because they can be feisty. And Jigglypuff because they draw on people's faces when they don't listen to them. <laughs> Which I always loved. I will stay and grab the moon wall. Alright. Very much. Okay. Megan! Wonderful now. Great, great. Five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna push. Gonna push again. I would like to have a dragon. That was old enough to tell me about a time when magic existed in the world. And I think I would like him to be black. Um, and I'm going to take... Or copper. Alright, Mrs. Valley, goodbye. Good night. Bye, Mrs.
Mrs. Valley. Thank you for dropping by. <laughs> um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten. Nice. Ten, ten, ten. So, what do I want? The owl. Well, maybe. But I really need to get some coins. Early in the morning. You had to sing that too? No, that's from um. You were the drunken sailor. What do you do? Oh, what's that game called? Oh, look, that's a song. It's actually an old sea chanty. Early in the morning. No, the one with the guy Corvo in the mask. Oh, I don't know. I just know that's. I learned it from. Uh, they didn't sing that in Assassin's Creed. They sing it in the trailer. And yes, they did. Maybe they did. They absolutely did. It was one of the cha the sea shanties you could go and find. Dishonored. Yep. Gotcha. I just helped you out. Yeah. Um. Take this from you specifically because you need to do some serious damage with this card. Rude. I like the first you know one. It's I, true. Honestly, I haven't finished the Maybe. second one. But I did. I did My enjoy turn. the first Dishonored game. These three uh, are all yes. going to be spoiled lands or cursed lands. So I'm going to already shuffle these. I'm going to just keep going. I'm going to push. Hey, what do you know? Spoiled. You spoiled. I feel like you have a. Like, theme going. I'm gonna lose. If you are new to the channel, welcome! We are Board Game House. We are three friends who play board games for you guys. Because we like to. Hey, Ram Ram! Ram. We have a really cool neighborhood. Is that Michelle Obama waving? No. No. It could be. It's not. No. But, we have a lot of fun here. If you like what you're seeing, please consider hitting that follow button. All it does is let you know when we go live. Um, we're trying to hit 250 followers by March... 31st. 31st? You have to figure out if there's 30 days or 31 days. No, I just... I didn't say end of March is what I was gotcha. trying to say. The end of March. Um, what else, what else, what else, what else? Also, every playthrough that we've done is on YouTube, and all of our how to plays are on YouTube. So follow uh, us there, follow please. Us there. We are We're five away from a hundred on there. I'm gonna push for okay. shifts and gigs. Okay. Also, we play Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. We at seven p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We play Mondays, and Mondays are always board games. Fridays are generally board games. We do have once a month that we play Jackbox. Um, yes, you have new emotes. A new emote. A new emote. Um, Wednesdays we match. alternate between D and D, a homebrew campaign, and legacy games. And we're currently in the getting ready to start the ninth chapter of Betrayal Legacy. Yeah. So. And this is our fifth. It will be our. This is, is was that our fifth, or is this going to be? It's going to be the fifth episode of D and D, and next week. And so it's also going to be our fifth episode of Betrayal as well. No, no, it's going to be our sixth. No, so we have five. No. Prologue in one, yes. two and three, four and five, six, six seven, seven and eight. So we've had five. Yeah. So we have five episodes. If you have not been watching our Betrayal playthrough, you need to catch up. Because... Betrayal is so good. Yeah, things got a little. A little crazy. Oh, a little crazy. And when we're done with Betrayal Legacy, we're playing Gloomhaven. 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 You don't want to display. Right. Excuse me. Actually, no, I don't want to display. I want to display. Best card ever. If I lose because I helped you. I may clear that out. Is there 
just have one right now. Two. Okay. Round two. Anything there? So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have eight, mm -hmm. and then two, four, six, eight. So four, so 12, total. twelve victory points total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This is the last round. Yep, so I get one more turn and you get one more turn. Correct. Okay. I need victory points at the end. <sighs> so I'm going to take... Elder, just because he's cute. Okay. My last turn. One. Cancels out. Can't I just spoil? I'm gonna put this up here so I just remember. Yeah, I there's a serious cliffhanger at the end of that betrayal. I'm so glad that was our last one of the night. Yeah. So that so. I saw it one because that cancels this out, that cancels this out. Yeah. Two. Two. If I were spoil, I can discard it because of this. Yep. Why would you do that? That's hmm? not where you put that. Put it here. Oh, and you're right. What are you doing? <laughs> Sorry, I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous because he helped me at the beginning of the game. So I, if I were to spoil there, I can just discard this. Discard that one, yes. So that's your hand. Okay. So you also get eight. I get eight points. I feel like you're going to win this one. Mostly because I wasn't really paying attention. And he hit on his specials. One, two, yeah, three, four, I haven't gotten five, any, six, I didn't get any specials. seven, eight. Eight points there. All right. I have... This is basically all I have. One, I two, three, team. four... I have four claws and three things. Not a lot out there for you. No, not a lot out there for me. Um, well, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> That's okay. So I can just see what the next one is. Don't do that to me. She's on my list. Rosario Dawson? No. That is not Rosario Dawson. That would be a demon as well. Sure. One. Take me for a One, two, three, four, yeah, five, six, I seven, eight, nine, ten, be. eleven, twelve. I have twelve points I can spend. And if you get the chance, hey, hey, baby, believe me. So I have twelve points <clears> I can spend. <throat> Can I be what I'm not? So I'm gonna buy this guy. But hey, how many did you have in a penny? Twelve. Nice. Don't you like my girl hot? Don't fight it, don't lose your pain. That's what I tried to do, but I couldn't. Alright, that is the- oh wait, Derek, you have one more turn. Yeah. <laughs> Two, so I'm at zero. Hmm? What do you mean? I get one tree for each uh, helmet on this card, and there's two helmets, so gotcha. I'm zero. One, two. Oh, yeah, our friends at Resonum have a really cool Kickstarter out. We haven't talked about that in a while. They are so close to having their final stretch goal done. They are at, do you want to look? Yeah. 
push. I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to or not. This is just so many. They're at $93,133. They are trying to get to 105 to get the really cool uh, plastic pieces. We played it... Two Mondays ago. Last Monday? Two Mondays ago. Not this week's Monday. Not this week's, week's Monday, Monday, but last week's Monday. Last week. Last Monday. If, so if you want to see There's a no playthrough of it, push. you can find it on our I'm YouTube. I'm just risking all my victory points. Yeah, I mean, you'll really be to buy a better go back it. thing. You may get two victory points out of one, but I don't know if that's worth it to you. I, I don't know if it's worth risking all those victory points you're going to get. Because you have three, four, five, six out there, I think, or five, six. Um, or seven. What? So, yeah. What type of victory points you have lying out there? Three here and two here. Just two? Yeah, one for each helmet. Oh, oh gotcha. Yeah. Helmet. Sorry, the other one's a... I thought these both the points one. Ooh! So I get five. One, two. It is. It's a really good game. I'm really excited for it. Three. I'm really excited to get the final copy that I know that we will play on here again. So there's your five. Mm -hmm. We've got six and we were to spare. Absolutely honored to be one of the uh, people who got to bring it to you all before the Kickstarter was over, so you guys got to see it, and it's super fun. You good? Still looking? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How many do you have? Six to spare. Mm -hmm. Might as well be the owl or the. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. you're just gonna, it's gonna get you one extra point at the end. What, uh, you have three sons. Three sons. Totally. Oof. I'm gonna buy this boy and with two left to spend I this boy. I, just, I need to take him down. Okay. Okay. All right. Time to score. I, I can't buy I... three sons. Can't buy me anything. No. no. I don't. I think I lost. Megan, you went first. 30. Deep. 42. I got the same score I did the first time. Which was? 23. At least I'm consistent. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm consistent too. I was 31 and then went to 30, so. So Steven won. Steven won that round. It is 1020. Peace. <laughs> it's Friday. We can play another quick game, can't we? No. What if something like fluff? Something simple? No. Sassy. My ankle hurts. I'm tired. Because 
So you fell? Derek went down to change his shirt and fell on his way back up here. Yes, it's raining and it was slippery. We do, we do need to power wash the thing. It's it's getting slick out there when it rains. But yeah. I mean, are we doing something else? Or are we gonna say goodnight? Like, I think we're saying goodnight. <laughs> okay. Well, then we can say we can do this afterwards. If we're gonna say goodnight. Yeah. I already started. <laughs> I'm almost done. So announcements, reminders. We are really close to all of our goals currently. Ish. We're how many away? Uh, I want you think. 30... We're 38 away on here. 38 away on here from our goal of 250. We are 5 away from our goal on YouTube of 100. Um, so go follow us on there if you haven't already. That doesn't really do anything except let you know when we upload videos. And you can turn that off if you want. Um, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? No idea. We did get into the beta of Twitch Sings, so that might be a thing that comes up. Maybe, depending on what songs I have in their songbook. <laughs> um, what else? Uh, other things that are going on. Uh, this Monday we are playing Ticket to Ride. It is the Ticket first, to Ride. It is actually our, even though this is our 40th episode, it's actually going to be our 50th stream. So we're letting you guys pick what we're playing, and we're going to play Ticket to Ride for you guys again. Um, you have to see our very first how to play, which will be interesting. I actually want to go back and watch it before we do that, just to see what, just to see how great it is. No surprise. Um, but yeah, so we are going to be doing that on. It is the OG how to play. We're doing that on Monday. On that Wednesday, we're playing our pushing our campaign of D and D. This will be our fifth episode. Yay! So if you're not caught up, definitely. Uh, catch up on our D and D campaign, and come join us on Wednesday. Uh, and then on Friday, we're playing one of our new favorite games, which is Bunny Kingdom, Bunny Kingdom. Bunny Kingdom. from Yellow Kingdom. Games. And they just announced an expansion. Castles in the sky. Uh, but yeah, so it is going to be a good month. We released our schedule. It's in our it's announcement session month. on the Discord. If you're not in the Discord, get in the Discord. Join us. Pinned to Twitter. Um, if you are in the Discord and you are a sub of the channel or just in general, make sure you link your Twitch account to your Discord. So that way, when we do do things like uh, Jackbox, you guys will have first dibs to join us <laughs> and to play along. You do. <laughs> uh, what else do we have going on with our lives? Uh, we're moving back room pretty soon, so that'll be exciting. Uh, thank you to everyone who gave us support to help us do that uh, through financial means or getting things off the wish list. We greatly appreciate all the support you guys give us constantly. The bits. Felix, Anal Star, Star Destroyer, Box, Meta Mummy, Sunshiny, everybody who so gives bits, Gormeyer, everybody. If you donated to us, you didn't have to. Thank you. So appreciate it. Yeah. So, anyways, with that. We love you guys. Have a fantastic weekend. We will see you Monday at 7 p.m. for Ticket to Ride. Yay. Go watch Betrayal. Go yeah. Catch Go. up on D&D &D if you haven't already, because that's next week. But yeah. We love but you. But Betrayal. All right. We love you guys. Have a love wonderful Love each evening. other. What happened to peace? Hi, guys. Bye. Deuces, son.